press here, they look bigger than they actually are. Because they feel like, because I'm big, I'm going to wear oversized clothes. And it's like, hmm. When you take them out the clothes, it's like, it's, it's like when girls wear, when it's sundress season and they wear that sundress. Maxi, like, Maxi wear, dress. Oh, God. And second. the thing is giving them wedgie. Hey, oh, and the body's looking mad. The, the wedgie ties, is mad, the, the ties looking, the calf, everything. Yo, but I'm hey, telling but, you. But hasn't a girl ever been to your yard before and she's got dumb cheeks here? And she puts her clothes on and you sit there and you're like, where the cheeks going, bro? If I didn't know you, I wouldn't have thought you had cheeks. Well, it's them, it's them, it's them, dick, them, them boyfriend jeans. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Mario jeans. Yo, these are low it, man. Super Mario jeans, man. <laughs> Looking like a plumber, man. <laughs> See, there's one time, yeah, where I'm not, I can't even say the rave. It was years ago. Actually, like, I can say the rave. It was um, Robin, she's his birthday. Then one girl behind me must have pinched me, pinched my bum in it. And I turn around and I saw two girls standing there. So I'm like, what are you doing, man? Anyway, so I've like done the wipe smile, you know, the whatever, mind my business. Then one of the girls that I didn't know which one it was must have gone to the toilet. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Becky, look at uh, her butt. Brother, I said, you know what? Come on, <laughs> come on, pitch me again. What was it? What was it? What was it? <laughs> I care about is business. That's the only thing I have on my mind. That's the only thing I'm, I'm living for. Is it recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, oh, yeah, we just cut it out. <laughs>
a range of things before bed. You watch whatever you're watching to feel relaxed, right? No, it's not, no, 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 no relax. I'm just doing watching this, it to be yeah, entertained. Yeah, this relaxed part, I'm not getting. No, but, some, but the thing is, sometimes when you're in bed and you're chilling, I'm relaxed anyway. It, uh, cool, but you're in bed, and so you tend to watch something that you feel comfortable watching. Like well, for me, too I watch relaxed. most like, things in bed. Like, yeah. like, like for me, for example, I'm not going to watch a horror film before bed. Like uh, impossible to me because it can't be the first thing, the last thing yeah, I see before you, I close yeah, but, my eyes. Yeah, but do you watch horror films? I don't. Exactly. No, no, but I'm saying, but in terms of horror films, I wouldn't. No, if I were to watch it, it's got to be. You watch porn before you go to bed, though. What? You watch porn before you go to bed. I don't watch porn. I don't, I don't watch porn. I told you already. Sensitize is your thing. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, bro. He's listening to another professor. <laughs> Big man, what are you talking about? Brother, if you're watching porn and what you're seeing cannot be recreated in the bedroom, you're finished. Yeah, what, 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 what are you searching, what, bro? What do you mean? What so I'm about to it anyway. <laughs> That's because I'm not watching the crazy shit he's watching. <laughs> what I've been saying, the shit you're watching can't be recreated because like, he must be watching some crazy shit. Or like Alien takes over hentai. No, or no, no, not even, but like, if you're just watching a threesome, for example, a man's just ragging out two babes. Yeah. Your babes don't want a threesome. <laughs> okay. Get babes that wants a threesome. So, so, yeah, but, that's okay, but, you, but you can't. If, bro, all I'm watching that's is... That's the passport, bros. The, 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 the porn I'm watching is man fucking the dog shit out of his... <laughs> No, but, That's what I'm saying And you're, and you're no, going to Might not be able to handle it no, But remember I don't think people watch porn And want to replicate that porn Joe sure, busted nuts Yeah <laughs> No but you said that's, that's, that's my point though But how do people Find out their triggers What Yeah When you watch porn You find out your trigger As in like What turns you on That's why they've got All different categories Certain men will go for Certain categories Because that's what turns them on But see, How did you find out That category But the difference sometimes Is the difference between What you want to watch And what you want to participate In real life And this is This is where the disconnect is You know what I mean People paint it out As what you watch Is what you want to do What so you Wait So you men are watching porn That you don't want to do Why not If I'm watching lesbian porn How can I recreate it Exactly Why not Yeah but You forget Yeah but that's different Because if you're watching Ow. No no If you watch lesbian porn If you have a threesome Then that's that's you, not a you're, you're, no, that's a threesome. I'm, one of those I'm just saying you're added to that equation. Like you girls' lips and you can scissor. Wait, do you, okay, so wait, do with this. okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Tread very carefully. Yeah? What? When you watch porn, do you imagine his meat is your meat? What? No, because yeah, no, no, I never no, ever said that, brother. No, no, because I never yeah, ever no, said that. No, because you're saying I can't watch this. You're born again, brother. Brother, listen. Is that why they do POV brother. for man like you? <laughs> What? POVs for man like you Where you pretend like you're wait. Do, do you watch that one? That you pretend the phone is on your head That you can, you can view but the nah, room I told you I don't watch porn Man's telling me I'm doing oh, an Oculus What's the thing called? Oculus <laughs> Oculus Oculus <laughs> In Oculus, whatever it is, brother Do you know what? Everyone has their own vices, in it? But going back to the true crime, yeah I just feel like my man just wanted to chat shit on that pod I ain't gonna lie, I'm with Keith Because it's the whole There's unwind thing science. I've never sat down with a girl And said, yo, do you want to watch the unwind? Yeah, but because you're there she might have to. No, but we're watching it before we go to bed. About, but think about how many girls do you know that you speak to? I watch True Crime. They love it. Yeah, yeah no. I we might it. have to look at the study, bro. If there's a study behind it, we'll check out the study. Yeah, a lot but of women watch no it, study, cool, but I don't know if it's to unwind. They find. Okay, I, I, one I thing I find it awkward is mm. they find peace in it. Yeah. Like, they can watch it peacefully. Yeah, some, that's what I'm saying. But my point is if you watch something like that, you should be disturbed. No, because I watch The Raid and I'm calm. But that's not real. How's The Raid not real? The Raid. The Chinese um, Kung Fu thing. Yeah. Them man are taking their makeup <laughs> off and going home to their wives and kids. Wait, what, what are you, you talking saying, about? Wait, wait, so when you say true crime, the true crime is not real? No, no, no. I've, basically. You're talking about documentaries based on real life events? Yeah, I'm talking about them. Like, I'm oh, to, I'm, I'm, I'm that's talking, different then. No, I'm talking about like Jeffrey Dahmer and stuff like that. I'm talking about like murder as in like, you know like those when cops, for example, like... Pointed house on the hill in that? No, 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 no. Like those documentaries, for example, where they were like, Talk about serial killers, and they'll find they'll like do reenactments of the what. Serial but it's killer based killer. on the real story. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, cool. I'm talk, talking okay. about that. Okay, yeah. Those but, things kind of weird me out still. For me, bro, it's entertainment. Like literally, it can't be because it's real life. It's entertaining because, like I said, mm. it's somebody telling me a story about what's happened. It's literally yeah, like watching I'm, the History Channel. Yeah, I get it. I get it. When you watch the History Channel and they talk about war, I'm entertained. It doesn't mean like, woo, I'm giddy, I'm excited about it. It's just entertaining. But, but, imagine, learning. but imagine you only like war. As in, like, imagine you only, like, that's all you but watch. But I'm saying, we're throwing in variables. They didn't say these people only watch that. No, no, I, I, only... I, sorry. Imagine you find comfort in watching war movies. But my thing is, where did this whole comfort thing, is like, <laughs> literally, how are they quantifying I, I, it? I, imagine you have to watch war movies to unwind. <laughs> Bro, 
That would be weird. You know what I mean? That and, would be and, very and weird. And that's my point. That's what, that's what they're who, saying. Who's, that, who's like that? Bro, that's very specific. That's like two people in the world that no, fit that description. No, but think about it. I guarantee you, We yeah, all know girls that watch those shows. We, we can phone girls now. Yeah, and I guess we, we can phone two girls each and then they say, oh, what do you like? And what no, change the, 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 don't draw me out. Cool, go on. Make the phone call. Bro, to ask them, no, you, you watch stop. this to unwind? Yeah, go on, go on. Because for me, that's, no, that. the, that's the variable. What? It's cool. Just, do you like, no, the call and No, call. do you know what it is? Uh, no, no, it's not, it's not even that. The reason why I don't want to do it is because I don't know if they want to be on the pod. And their the, voice. Uh, I know, I, I know the only ones. Well, you know Marvin, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you know how man them are weird still? Bro, just call one, man. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, for me, I'm I'm not buying that one. I think that one there is bro science. I, I, I hear what he's saying. I, I, in my point, in, for example, like think about this here. When you're, I'm calling one by the way. When you when you're in bed, yeah, and you think about films, yeah, it tends to be, anyway. Do you know? Let, let's take the call anyway. I think for me that I'm not time sensitive with stuff that I watch. You know what I mean? I can watch horror at nine in the morning. I don't actually watch horror. I can watch something violent at nine in the morning, twelve in the afternoon. And you want to ring off my phone and put one for one? No. Yeah, because it'll come through the speakers properly. To so say you're gonna, I'm gonna call you off a private number. All right. Well, man got the number on Sunday, R and B. I'm phoning the girl that I just got the number. Yo, that's a rookie. Big, that's a mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. Hold on. Better to say, yo, who's this? Man got the chopper and screw with the voice. <laughs> you know, like on Crown Watch. Yeah, I watch. Um, <laughs> I watch movies too. Um, they always do. Whenever their man are reenacting the drug thing, whenever they talk to a gang or something, the room's always blacker than my man's just chilling in the shadows. Yeah, obviously. I think wanted to come, by the way. Sly. This man like. Why didn't you bring him? Because he just texts me now. Let me call him. He's, he's, he's excited though. To so come where? What time is he getting here? You right? Yo, you're live on the podcast. What going? Come on, my brother, man. What's good? He <laughs> said, <laughs> brother, if I knew it was today, brother, I would have come there in person, bro. <laughs> yeah, <you> just... <laughs> I've never heard a man. Now. I've never heard a man say in person now. like that. Yo, you just texted me like five minutes ago. I know, brother. What are you not saying you look good, yeah? Yeah, we're just here chilling, man. We're talking about your big head still. Come on, man. I'm, I'm just here. I'm trying to enjoy my life, man. What are you saying? You're inside or you're outside? I'm, I'm on the rules right now, bro. Oh, swear down. They let you up? Yeah, man. Nah, five days, innit? I'm going back tomorrow. Oh, okay. When are you officially out? I'm um, 27th of next month, so... Oh, hey. Well, out proper or you're going to be on tag? I'm outside, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if, if my girl lets me, but I'm outside, bro. <laughs> Yo, is there anything you want to say to the free shots listeners? Listen, man, I love love, man. Pick up my babies, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, pick up slow jams, man. Hey, that's the vibe. Hey, I'm about to try that. It's girl. <laughs> slow jams, man. Hey, listen, I'm trying to change, man. It's not easy, man. I was like, no man's been inside. Pick up the man, though. Love that guy. I'm going to shut you off, man. Come on, man. I love you. That's right, it. Hey, he was cooking PK's feet earlier. Yeah, I saw that still. Listen, I looked at those feet and I was like, Jesus Christ. PK don't give a shit. He's backing them toes out in front. Do you know what I've noticed? I've, I'm a lot more calm in front of girls now. Feet out, man. Wearing the socks thing's long now, man. Well, your feet all fucked as well? No, they're not fucked, but I just, I never really like putting that, um, taking my feet out. But no, I don't give a shit. Me, bro, you know, I'm, I'm barefoot all the time. Come out the shower, barefoot but, is but naked. Drink. The only time a girl see my feet is when I'm fresh out the shower and that, the shower's made my feet soft. That's what, the your feet oldie get... time, But do you know your feet are hard because you don't moisturize them? I do moisturize them. So they shouldn't be hard like you're... They're finished. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, if they're finished, bro. But don't you put on the f- a feet mask? Um, I've got that, actually. Like, do it the, the regular. Sock, the socks, yeah. with, with the, and you put the cream in. Yeah. Mm. The way I fall asleep, I won't remember. Oh, yeah, by the way... <laughs> you just leave to the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going <laughs> to say. You don't Marv, put the feet in your car. Marv doesn't plan to sleep. I don't plan to sleep. He just falls asleep. I just black out. Do you know every, how mad that is? Every day, and I wake up with my phone underneath my back. Bro, Marvin, Marvin. <laughs> but it depends if I didn't walk up with my phone. No order. It's on my back, bro. No order, bro. Marvin, Between no order, I'm bro. sleeping. Marvin will drop you home, yeah? And you go into your bed and <laughs> turn over and fall asleep in this car. <laughs> I did I did that one time, bro. Even at my dad's house, with, remember, even when I was living in Heath one time, you know what I mean? I've got in. So what Marvin will do is he'll be on the phone and he'll stay on the phone for so long, and he'll come off the phone, and then he'll go sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did he tell that. you that he, he, he nearly got in trouble because of that? Falling yeah. asleep somewhere? Dropped to babe's home. Babe fell asleep outside. Fell asleep outside. <laughs> this guy's been very creepy, bro. <laughs> go, go home. Bro. What babes was that? What babes was that? That ain't never happened to me. What <laughs> was my lying for, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, it actually happened to a bridge of mine. So basically... Is it all the food was on? So, um, not. so one of my one of my brethren, yeah. <sighs> That's a lie, but Taze will say by the way. I never fell outside of the of the girl's house and she's been like, "What's the brother still doing here?" Impossible. So with me, I so I have to admit it's crazy because I'm admitting the best part of this story, yeah, because it will make it bait, yeah. But I have to because you know what I mean I'll get in trouble. So my brethren now. He's had this situation with a chick or whatever. And so, you know, he's for some reason, yeah, he's outside this girl's house because he, he, so he says, you know what I mean? He's telling her that, you know what, we should be doing X, Y, Z, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So what's happened is while he was sitting up on the, he's on the phone with one of my next brethren, right? He's on the phone with one of my next brethren, but because he's on the phone, he stayed outside her crib bare long. So he, so my brethren had talked him out of, he's like, just don't say nothing and just leave. But because he's on the phone, he's outside the crib for bare long. But she's seen him now. You know what I mean? So she's thinking, this nigga's moving bare weird. She called his missus up. Yeah. <laughs> she said, look, where's your boyfriend outside my house? <laughs> oh, bro. It got mad sticky for him. But, but it was just a hilarious situation, wait, right? Wait, clarify. Wait. Why was he there? He dropped her? <sighs> no. So he was there. You can't speak too much because of the scenario. Yeah. But then that, that's techie then. That's the piece of information that's vital to the hey, that's story. That's what I'm saying now. That's <laughs> why, like, when I throw in, like, the, it will make sense. It will just throw. <laughs> Turn under the yeah. You know those ones where it just gets mad bait, where you're like, oh, okay, I know who that is. What? So, they, what they want that? I do. I need a um, small book. Nah, uh, but I was yeah. going to speculate, but um, nah, let me not hop my man. Your headphones, remember? Yeah. So, it was, huh? you know what I mean? It was Peekums. It was Pete, oh, Pete. Um, Let me note it down so I can tell you, man, after. So are we concluding? For me, I think that's a whole bunch of bollocks. Do we, the, reason why I don't, the reason why I think there's some kind of substance to it is because I don't think it's normal to find glee or comfort in certain programs. Because, for example, when there was a show called The Iceman... Um, something Kaplinski or something like that. See Richard Kaplinski. Like, but that was a very different program because that didn't, it wasn't graphic. Mm. It was more, he was sitting in the room and they were asking him, why, why did you, why, why, why did you do it? Like, what was this? And he was talking about his childhood. He's talking about uh, some, some of the murders he did commit and why he done it. But that was more about understanding the mind of a serial killer as opposed to the other way is understanding the mind of a serial killer, but I just don't like when they like, they'll maybe show him breaking into a house and then you know what happens. And then he'll say, this person, he killed this woman, cut her up in half, done this, done that. And it's like, oh, it's graphic, man. But sometimes you, like they show you enough, but then your imagination does the rest. For me... That before bed is a mad thing. Brother! But my thing is, okay. And even, and even the thing is, sorry to cut you, Keith, even hearing that in general, certain, there's certain programs that I've watched here and it sticks with me. Like, I still know the stories of like how some of these people are killed because I'm like, oh, mad graphic. it kind of stuck. So I'm just saying that I, I hear what you're saying. That I just need to find out how it got to, it makes people sickos. You know what I mean? You can sit there and- I didn't say it makes people sickos. No, I'm so saying- That's what the study says. Oh, okay, okay. No, I think, no, it said that they, they've got um, problem. No, I've said that. I think it said that they've got problems with trauma. I have no problems with trauma. I can watch those things and go to sleep. Like you definitely... no, no, no. You might have no, but no, the thing not is... nothing like that. No, no, but, no, no. but you might have a not, not. It might not be um, a problem in trauma, but for example, like seeing someone, you might be desensitized to certain things because of how much you watched. Bro, it's yeah. literally it's a documentary. No, no, no. But I if get, you're saying man, are watching that snuff films before bed, nah. and you're watching beheadings. You know, nah, what I mean? do you know why? On YouTube. No, you know but, why? I say that. Because remember, actual movies have this. I've had to get a bit more graphic and a bit more in your face because of how desensitized people have become to the old content. Yeah, yeah. So I understand that. But what I'm saying is that's happening anyway. So my I don't get the study in regards to like focusing on the people who watch 
horrors before. Like, who has admitted that they watch horrors before bed is one. They might have other issues. That, do you know what I mean? So the study is just a bit too blase yeah, for me to say. And yeah. you but, know what but I, mean? I, think, I think the question was, why is trauma relaxing to me? That's the question that she posed. Yeah, but trauma could be relaxing because you've, su- you've suffered. That's, but what, that's but, my but, thing. I think that's what she's trying to say, that if you have suffered, you need to look into it. Don't oh, just, don't, yeah, but that's don't, a don't, don't just leave it. As in, look at this as a sign as, if you find comfort in trauma, then that shows that you might have an issue with trauma yourself. Remember the episode with Lance, whatever, you did say, my ass man ain't growing up properly. I mean, you haven't, I mean, man, what did you say? Keep, I don't want to paraphrase, but you said that the way you're growing up has been a bit fucked up. Yeah. So you saying that you haven't got trauma, not saying you are you have, but there's things in life that might happen to you that makes it I okay for you to watch something else. I feel that's the thing. And this is where I think there's the um, disconnect. One, I don't like films that are too violent. You know what okay. I mean? It's, it's not for me. So I feel like even down to, you know what I mean? When it comes to horrors and stuff like that, I'm very jumpy. I don't like stuff that's gory, you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. What you say? Human centipede, not your thing. Don't watch stuff like that. It's not for me. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not desensitized to death and things like that. So when I watch this, this is just purely entertainment and knowledge. If they're hacking people open and I'm seeing certain things, it might have an effect. And I feel like, just like anybody else that watches these things, it's just entertaining. And some stuff is just really interesting. You know what I mean? It's literally, I watch it like I would watch you know, a movie about anything. So I think that's kind of where it is. Like for me, I don't think it has anything to do with my mental state, if that makes sense. So I feel like maybe there are people where Mm. it's because of that. It's just the relaxing bit that, you know what I mean? That is there specifically. So I feel like maybe, you know what I mean? People find comfort in something like that. Maybe that person definitely does have issues. I'm just not convinced that, you know what I mean, that makes, that's the majority of people that watch these things. But, that's where I feel like there's, with me, where I have the issue with is that, you know, it relaxes X, Y, Z. I feel like we probably have more people that watch it purely because it's entertaining. Yeah, but I think, the key, I think the key is why, yeah, I get it. But it's like, for example, if you go home now, what, you, what, what are you more likely to watch if you're in bed? Black Mirror. Uh, for me, bro, like, oh, that back Yeah. Five episodes, season six. Like now I've been watching Killing Eve. So it's literally, and it actually is about a serial killer. Well, she's a murderer. For, hit, she's a killer for hire, but she enjoys killing. You've Look, probably seen Killing Eve. Black Mirror used to be sick, but it didn't, for me, it just started to get stupid. Like some of the concepts were like, you, you could tell some stories were written really well and others were just rushed because they just needed to make up the series. That's, that's the impression I got from... Some of the Black Mirror episodes. What, the new season or in general? Just in general. Oh, um, I think it changed when they moved from Channel 4 to Netflix. Yeah. yeah. But the new season, you're probably going to think the same thing. Because I enjoyed it because I get Black Mirror. But a lot of the episodes, like there's five, I think about three of them, I predicted the ending. Just because I could see where the episode was going. And none of them stood out like some of the ones I watched in the previous season. Like one of them I watched, I was like, oh the, my the, God. The Black Museum, that's one of the best that ones, one was bro. Mad. Yeah. Cold, that's one of the best ones. But yeah, none of them, none of them reached that level. Like the new ones, um, there's Lock Henry, there's Beyond the Sea, there's Demon 79, uh, Maisie Day, and Joan is Awful. Joan is Awful was actually a sick one. I can hear that but a bit, you know, keep on. Yeah, Joan is Awful was a sick one because um, this is not a spoiler, I just explained it in the belly of the episode. Imagine your actual life is a TV show. They had one Black Mirror like that. Right? Yeah, but no, but this one is, is live. Like, people can go on Netflix right now, press play on the Marvin show, and your whole day is what they're watching. I used to, when I was younger, I used to think that was, used to happen to me, you know? What? what oh, show? It was the Truman Show. Yeah. No, but the Truman Show is different because the Truman Show is, is his, his actual life. Yeah, but he didn't know who was being, he didn't know who was being watched in the Truman Show. But they were acting as well. They, yeah, but they no, were everyone around in his him. life. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, but his life, he, like, for example, your life now, you believe, for example, you believe me and Marvin could be actors right we're, now. We're actors. Yeah, but Brent's I'm, an actor. No, I'm not, I'm not disputing that. What I'm saying is, the Joan is awful one is different. Imagine me going on my day as Taser, but then Idris Alba plays Taser in this show and everything that I've done in my day-to-day uh, is in the show. So, so Idris Alba's gone studio and he's chilled with Daniel Kaluuya and John Boyega, but they're playing you. And then I'm, I might have like, got a text from your girlfriend. At the what? same time? Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's living his life and it's on TV at the same time. Yeah, but like, it's not hours him. later. It, okay, yeah, it's not someone else is playing it. Um, Salma Hayek, she's playing it. So imagine your girlfriend's text me 
and I've gone, no, no, not yet. I'm in the studio. But you haven't seen it as in so you're my brethren. Nice to do. But you're watching the, t- um, the show and you're like, wait, please, my girl texting you. And I'm like, how did you know? In real life. And then that exchange that we've had is now going to get shown. So everyone else is like, oh, no, Taze, you done Marvin bad. I'm like, no, it's not true. It's a TV show. But oh, it doesn't look like it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's that kind of vibe. So everything she's doing, hours later, it's on TV and everyone's watching it. So she starts realizing that and then she obviously takes more control. And then, yeah, the rest of the episode it is what it is. But um, it's, it's deep. Towards the end, it's like, raw. okay, this is mad. And who knows? That could be AI in the future, for example. Like, that's, that's the fear with Black Mirror. Like, a lot of the episodes, you're like, this could be true. Mm. So it's not as graphic and as deep and as um, dark as the previous ones that you mentioned, but there's still like dark elements because it's like, this could be true. I saw the one in Black Mirror with the surgeon. The surgeon. And I think he nearly dies. Oh, he he, he and, likes pain. And they bring him back to life, but he's like, when bring, bring him back to life, yeah, he likes pain. That's but, like the porn thing that you're saying. But it, but it keeps getting worse. You know, he keeps chasing worse. the high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keeps chasing the high There's to the one, point where he's like, he keeps, he's cutting himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cut off his, his cheek, then he's cut his finger, cut his toe, cut his knee. Yeah, that episode. He's just, like, he, just, he just keeps getting until the pain just, he can't do no more. That like, episode's, that episode's mad still. Yeah. But that one's mad because I swear that's the one where he can, um, he gets turned on by pain. Yeah. So do you, do you remember when Massacre, the one where he's, 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 he boxes his missus in the bedroom? No, when he's in the hospital. There's one that is he's, he's in the hospital. I think he's committing... He's, he's either doing surgery, something to do with the um scalpel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, and he's getting turned on. It's like yo, <laughs> make him a masochist. It's finished. So it's like sadists. So sadists are people that get turned on by inflicting pain. It is sado. It's sadist masochist. Sado masochist. Sado masochist. So sadist is so sadist is one 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 side of it, and the masochist. So sadists enjoy inflicting pain. Masochists are people that get turned on by receiving. So you know that there's certain jobs that. We don't really talk about what people have to do them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like working in a... Funeral um, home. Yeah, stuff like that. Or doing yeah. autopsies. Like, obviously, I don't know what the definition of normal is, but mm. we can argue that these people are not exactly... It's not a normal job, yeah. It's not a normal job. Mm. So if these people have something different, yeah. I don't want to say wrong, I want to say different to them, I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Because in order for you to do that job, you, you need, cannot be you someone need. who worked in... Your previous job was Sainsbury's. You weren't in JD, bro. <laughs> you weren't in JD. Before this, you weren't in JD. So I was saying, there has to be something about you. I had this conversation. Let me get Air Force. <laughs> I had this conversation with my mum the other day because um, I, I saw, I came across um, a post on Insta and it was a guy in South Africa and he had been stabbed in his head. And it was a, it was in hospital. So it was a picture of him with a knife in his head. Then the, the next picture was with the staff that had removed it and that, you know, kind of fixed him up essentially. And I said it to my mom and I was like, I couldn't do your job because if so he if they if they brought in a man with a knife sticking out of his head, I'm going home. <laughs> I told her. But she was like, you know what I mean? She's like, you just get used to it. And I was like, I know myself. I could never get used to that. I'm not coming in here, bro. And a man has, you know, half his face hanging off and you're asking me to hold it and help you put it together. Fuck that. I'm going home. But my thing is, I think there's levels to it though. Like, there's that. Then there's like maybe seeing someone who, um, I don't know if you saw the video in America where, like, the girl got knocked over by, like, a truck and it dragged her across the, the street, like, maybe about 100 yards. And on the road, you can just see, like, blood, uh, intestines, whatever, then she's dead underneath the wheel. You have to, someone has to remove that. Yeah. I can't see that. Yeah, or or when people jump in front of the trains, you have to, like, someone That's has what to... paramedics do. Someone, they just yeah, and collect everything. Someone has to like, move this person. You've seen it now. You know what I'm saying? Even funeral homes when you're embalming a body or like... like the, the scene in them bad boys. Or you're doing... Or, um, That's some big ass titties. Or anything like that. It's like... For example, like if, if, if someone said to you there's dead bodies in this room, most men would be like, I don't want to be in it. I can't, I can't be in it. Do you know what I'm saying? The smell alone of... Everyone will be fried. But, but I think no, but some that, people just desensitize mm, to that. Like... Mm. Just, when you, yeah, desensitize, but not in a problematic way is what yeah. I want to kind of express. But you, that's what I'm saying. You don't know though. I don't nah. think it's... No, nah, but some people just... Like, but there was a wild story, yeah, of a woman who... So basically, um, she... She went to the um, doctors and she had like an issue with her... Um, her downstairs, yeah? Oh, is it because her partner was fucking dead people? Man killed my whole story, blood. 
No, we've talked about this. I need that. I need that. I, 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 I know, but still. people listening might not. Can I finish my story, bro? Oh, Man, killed my whole story, bro. What's going on here, bro? The oh, whole I thought, story. I, you you I, I definitely, know I definitely was asking anybody, bro. I was trying to get any storytelling bag, bro. Brother, right? man, I was trying to get a TikTok. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A TikTok video and then what's wrong with the man there? Subtitles in that. It's got a TikTok video right there. <laughs> that, that's what we did, yeah? Because I was like, I was like killing everybody's story. No, no, no. I don't know what involved in that. Everybody's story's done. No, wait, I'm not involved in that. Back up to the story again I on this podcast. I swear it, I loud you. What do you mean? Back up to the story on this podcast again, bro. You didn't yeah. allow it, man. Just beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw where I was going, man. No, no, don't worry. No, it's because cool. we've had... The thing I care about is business. <laughs> That's the only thing I have on my mind. That's the only thing I'm, I'm living for. Yeah, it's business. It's just business, man. All right, cool, 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 cool. Say that, Akeem. I'm on Keith. No reason. So I said, the rest of you want the rest of what, what happened? What happened? Watch, I'm on, man, bro. What, anything. Anything Keith says, you get me? Like I just say, my mentor, Paul. Paul, nigga. Talking about Paul, nigga. <laughs> Hey, nah, you were the toast. Nah, nah, you were the fucked. Nah, the way he robbed my joy of that story. Huh? You, nah, because you 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 agreed, bro. You're the no, neighbor. I knew where it was going. Nah. I, let, I let you land. You're the neighbor, bro. Nah, let man let man land, man. You're the neighbor, bro. But yeah, anyway, that that story, yeah. The way the doctor said to her, like, what do you work with? In the morgue or something? He was like, do you know anyone that works in the morgue or whatever? He's going, yeah, my boyfriend does, like. Like, okay, and he was fucking dead bodies, bro. But obviously, that you get a particular dead bodies, obviously because they start to decompose or whatever. You're not supposed to chop a dead body, bro. And he in the morgue, he's chopping dead bodies, so it's giving him a particular kind of infection that you can only get from a dead body. Imagine that. Like, what, what do you say then when you get home? What do you mean that convo? Like, what? What? I'm, what, what convo? I'm leaving. Do you, know, do you know some people won't leave? You know. Wait, wait, hold on. We can work this what out. If, if, shall I, I, put, know, I know I've got a problem, but... <laughs> I'll put the kettle on, try to say. Hey, we don't know if they're white or not. Huh? What do you mean? Racist. <laughs> Brother. What do you mean? Because I said, shall I, well, I, I put the kettle on? Or I said, I put the kettle on the white thing? So... That's definitely a white thing. You know what I'm saying, yeah? So that's not a white thing. I'm just saying. I know black people that drink tea. What are you talking about? When have you ever said, Buko la po on the kettle? <laughs> no one has ever said that in a Nigerian house, but if you're putting the kettle, it's to put in the pot forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, do you know, in, so I, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this in Pakistan where they're putting chains on Cricket. the graves. No, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm trying to finish your story still. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm joking, I'm joking. They're putting chains on the graves. To oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. People pulling the graves out and having sex, the bodies out of the graves and having sex with them. Well, they treat them like bottles in Manchester. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for a second there, People yeah. beating bottles in Manchester. No, no it's a chain in the bottle to the table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, they literally put in um, chains on the graves to keep people from thinking. Yeah, but what? Chaining? What are they chaining? The bodies. The graves. Oh, the bodies, right. Oh, oh, oh no, I think the... Um, coffins. The coffins to the ground. Because man, they're digging up the bodies and then having sex. Because in terms of their community, like, a lot of people don't have sex. And um, yeah, so they're just trying to. It says, you know. pa parents in Pakistan lock daughters' graves. Daughters' graves. So, just for context, you see the. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of like. Um, I'll have to screen grab it and send it to me so I can put it on YouTube. Please. A drainage cover. Yeah. You know when your burglar bars on your house? So, yeah. for anyone listening right now and you've not seen the video, it's literally burglar bars over the grave to keep people from digging it up. But if they're man, they were very motivated. Just dig it from the side and pull. There's a little bit more work, but you know, you dig the side, then you dig in, pull it out, and pull it out. <laughs> just saying. Bruh, man's talking like he's done it before. Brother. I was giving man the blueprint. No, Yo. I'm just saying, bro, I'm literally using common sense. Brother, you know I mean? if you have to dig up a body to whack, you're finished. <laughs> you are what are you finished. Saying? Just become a password, bro. If, if, I mean, if that's are you if saying? That's the, are you comparing passports? I are like. You comparing pa I know you were against the passport, bro. Goals, if but are that's you... the lips, you have to go. No, but that's to a, get cheap. That's a full sicko. Big man, book a flight, blood. Book a flight, fam. No, you I can't know. book a flight because the money there don't last. Money, ain't money, ain't. money don't last. Dude. Oh yeah, someone said. Go ahead, well, you're saying um, rich people can't have their hobbies there. Speaking of grapes, speaking of Asia, that's a nice little segue. I went to um, 
Bali. You that can't segue from us talking about man raping dead bodies to no, your Asia, holiday. Asia, <laughs> Asia. <laughs> Bob, you, you know said, what about what's the segue? No, you, said, pa- you said Pakistan, bro. <laughs> I flew, I flew around them areas, bro. <laughs> and say great, man. Them words they're yeah, triggering. Yeah, no, it's true. And essay, essay. Yeah, essay. Or uh, yeah, can't you know say what? the full word, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. trigger warning, isn't it? That's a word that I can't hear before I go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, it yeah, unsettles me, man. Psychologists say, if you, if you like them words, it's... it's Marvin cool said, Taylor said, I didn't sleep. I was up. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Like, hey, you know, your bread, your, your bread is out, you know? <laughs> the booty warrior. I swear. But I said, I want shit. Please. And I like shit. But I said, yo, I'm out. They let him out. Peak for you, man. He's old as hell, bro. Like, he, he's done his 40, 50 years. <laughs> he's out now, bro. He said, yo... Got you no mad? teeth, nothing. Serious? Yeah. He still has cheeks, you know. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah but you, no, literally. You can't switch that off, though. What? You, yeah, can't, you, can, you can fist him up now, though. No, I'm saying you can't switch that off. No, I hear that, but I'm saying that now that he's out, man can fist him up. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna have a harder time trying to grab... He just got to go to one, um, one march. Cool. That's it. What do you mean? Wait, what? Yeah, like a pride march. Oh. Yeah, you get cheeks. Or you think they're just you think they're just flinging out cheeks or something? But if you go to a rave, think there's babes flinging out cheeks. Why didn't even say go on grinder apples? Man, yeah, basically, mom said just go well. carnival. That's a go carnival. Yeah, yeah, go pride carnival. Go pride carnival. Live life. Live life, brother. They, they might be someone will even recognize you. Say my hero. Oh my god, that's Pete Dunstan. That's, that's it, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Why did you? Why did you speak like that? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did you speak like that? Because when I when I when I did um Bro. whatever I did, you lot try to get onto me. Why what, did you, what speak you like that? What, who's we? Why did you add a, a, a hint of zest to your? I didn't add no zest. So yeah, add you added a hint of zest. I added a lisp. Why did you add a lisp? Because <laughs> I do lisp all the time. Saucy Santana ain't got a lisp, bro. Was that is that what? That's the that go to. That's, that's, that's the go to gay black guy right now. I want to talk about like gay people like that. I just done a uh, voice. What's the voice? I do it all the time. What is that voice though? What's the, what's? The... Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm I, not even going to lie to you. I ain't giving it a name still. You know, I hear it because that voice had little sugar in it. What? What I'm saying is it sugar little, spice, sugar, little sugar in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> you say you're the, you're the professor of the Powerpuff Girls, yeah? <laughs> what's talking about them, brother? He's got sick of What's going on here? Anyway, speaking of Asia, I went by um, Thailand and Bali for Clement. Clement's a friend of the show. He got married... Found love in Australia. Shout out Clement. Shout out Clement and his um Congratulations, his wife, Congratulations you bastard. Yeah. Mm. Do you know it was it was nice? Do you know it was um a thing? I can't I can't lie, I cried. Not <laughs> but I couldn't help the tears, man. At what point? When Clement was reading his vows. Only because like his mum and dad weren't there. Uh, so we were like the family that represented yeah, his family, yeah, essentially. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that one was obviously um, getting married and having kids that your mum and dad are never going to meet. Is, They're never going to have grandparents on that side. Yeah. Like, has, you, has you got grandparents on that? As, what about her mum and dad? Yeah, her mum and dad were there. Yeah, mm. very, very very cool people. I like the way his family um, embraced him. Obviously, he's moved there already, isn't it? So, Clem's um, a cool dude. Yeah, so he's moved. He, by the way, Clem is one of the few dudes I have on my side, as in out of my mandem, that I can look at and say, when he's with a girl, it's only with her. He, and a lot of the men will say he's one of the very few guys that we know. Look, you, the only thing that I would say is you're killing all the men them do you? No, no, I'm, I'm just being honest. Actually, you honestly, Clem is yeah. one of the few people that I know that is. You know, certain people will say cheating is bad. Or what, Clem is one of the few. He people generally, that I know he generally looks at like, 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 what, like, why would you do that? And I'm looking at him like, but relax, man. Like, he, he will judge you for it. And it's like, bro, chill out. Like, but, but I can't lie to you. As I'm getting older, like, I, I'm, I believe that as well. Yeah. What? Cheating the whole problem. cheating thing. What do you mean you believe in it? As in, as in like. I don't think it's something that should be done. Yeah, but no one ever thought it was something to be done. So that mm, man just do it. No, when you but when you were younger, it was it was it was more of a case of No, but I think when you're younger, the consequences I'm, weren't I'm, as great I'm as you not, thought they I'm were. I'm not gonna talk about it, but if it happens, it happens. But we don't it's like man didn't openly condone it and say you gotta cheat. You man ain't cheating, don't be silly. But if it happened, you weren't like, what are you doing? Whereas you might speak to your boy now and say to him, brother, allow it, man. Yeah, but I think but what I'm saying is even though that there's that there's this like there's even a post on Shade Borough, like, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be talking about this post. So, seeing as we've gone on this topic, this is why I say we're sick of podding. Um, a guy's posted a tweet, black men, I'm going to share this uncomfortable opinion. Stop being friends with men who are comfortable with infidelity. Why say black men? Why don't I say... Why, why the black guy, that's who you're talking why, to. Why don't I just say men? Yeah, true, but... 
He's a black guy. I guess that's who he's talking to. But um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I'm comfortable I guess, with it. I didn't say I'm just cutting niggas off or whatever yeah. they want to do. So I'm saying like, at the end of the day, I'll, I'll check my boy and say, "Big man, what are you doing?" But it's, it's his life, bro. I'm not gonna cut off my friendship just because. Because I did see a video. Um, you must have seen it as well. It's like in the last couple of weeks, where the guy's gone on. He put up a video where he's like, he had to check his boy. Or cheating on his missus and so on and so on. And firstly, and it was you made like, a video, innit? Yeah, firstly, he's like, why'd you make a video? Personally, you know what I mean? Because I was like, if you checked him, you checked him in private. You've checked my man, you've checked my man. Mm. Like, why'd you have to come out and make a video out mm. of it to then escalate the situation? That stuff is where I feel like people just want something to talk about. Yeah. But you can easily have a conversation with your brethren and say, this is wild. I actually have a, you know, I tell the man, you know, you could do whatever you like. Just don't cheat for two years. If you've invited me to your wedding and you've made me spend money to come there, Dress nice or whatever. It's cost me money to be here, and for you to get caught cheating and you divorce within the first twenty four. That's months, very selfish of you, bro. No, yes, I was just I'm, worried about his drip. Yes, I'm letting man know I spent bread to be here. He's paying a mortgage, brother. Exactly. So don't cheat. Okay. So, so, then, so, so you know what I mean. You have more to lose than me. Don't so, cheat. This is what I'm saying. So as a friend, you're you have a mortgage with said person. You have kids with said person. You lot handle each other's finances, whatever the case may be. Share cars, whatever. I can't be the one that's most concerned about you cheating. 100%. You got bigger things to worry about. I'm just saying, but, don't waste my money. But but I guarantee, if we're going out on motives, for example, and he's heavy on like bringing things, I'm not going to be the, your wingman. Nah, I'm not going to be your wingman purely because I know your wife. That, that that's mad. You're going to invite me to the other fit every single. The time. only reason nah. why I will be the wingman is if the girls are buff. But you can link the girls by yourself. He's the plug. <laughs> A married man is the plug. Do you know how <laughs> mad what you're saying is? Is mad? do you know how mad that is? Why is Bro, disconnect, the disconnect the plug, Marvin. Disconnect <laughs> the plug. Yo, you didn't see Ghost. Lobos was gone. Haha, <laughs> 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 banter, good jokes. <laughs> 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 hey, Ghost was very much yeah, trying to get rid of the plug, bro. Tell man them stop creeping, allow it. Yeah, but my thing is, I, I get what um, Taser's saying and I get what Keith's saying. But I feel like it's a case of just just, just don't do it, innit? No, obviously, I don't, but, I don't... But, but sorry to cut you, but I feel like what a lot of people are doing now is they realize there is applause in dissing men and championing women. So, for example, that the fuck the maddest thing is that dude who said that my people got bridges that cheated and he's still t- talking with them. Yeah, they need to kick him out of the group chat. So they're like, brother, what are you doing? But man? he just done that because he might be true, but like, do you know what I'm saying? Even that one where Keith spoke about the guy in the car saying, I pulled up my bridge for cheating. If you've put it in budget for cheating, why is it on camera now? Mm. Because you know women are going to be like, we need more men like this. Well done. It's like... The moment he, do, the moment hit, he, the moment he cheats, he better announce it on camera, you know? Yeah. <laughs> These men are just better comfortable coming what, online and saying, yeah, I got cheated on. What's that, brother, crazy. what's that brother that used to get onto the mandem? Oh, then, um, Derek Jackson. Hair. He, that's what I'm saying. And that's, and that's my point. There was a man there who used to chastise men all the time. And get onto men about cheating and how men, men are disgusted, this, men, are men are that. Women are championing buying these books. He was showing his missus sex tapes of him and other things. He cheated on her bare times. She he had the, the bonnet yeah. of what's the bonnet? The bonnet of salvation. Wait, he was coming <laughs> home. Wait, he was coming home with sex tapes. He's showing her like this is how I want you to chop. Yeah. Well, the way he was chopping. Yeah, yeah. he's chopping other things. Chopping other things in videos and showing his wife. That's what she was saying. I knew other women's bodies more than I knew my own. My oh, team. she come out and done a press. She, she had to. She, she, she's not with him no more. He yeah. dropped her out. Said he didn't really like the way she was dressing in that. The, <laughs> yeah, bon, she, the, the bonnet of um, no, no. She was dressed like you said. The bonnet of salvation. Bonnet of salvation. Know, salvation. You know, little house on the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a young color purple. <laughs> a young, a young whoopee. <laughs> 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 hey, wait, hold on. How do we? Hold on. How do we get here? I was talking about Clement, man. Um, no, I was talking we, about creeping. Yeah, I said he's not the t- he's not the um, kind of person. So when he, How did we get this? Yeah, so when he's so basically, let me let me give you backstory. Um, Clement, where did he meet her? That's the thing. During lockdown, um, house party. So I have a friend in Australia. She jumped on. I've jumped on. Then Clement's jumped on. Then her brothers jumped on. I've seen the conversation. I'm like, alright, cool. I've jumped out. Gone in another room. Days have gone by. I'm going on house party. Clement's still. Locked in a room with all these lot from Australia. I'm like, right, this guy's really doing that. And anyone who knows Clement, this guy can chat. Like, see, like you might when you're getting to know a girl, yeah, you might text a few times. How often do you speak on the phone? Not often. Not often. No, is it? No. Clement is a man that will be doing work, have his FaceTime on to the girl for hours, just there, busting up all all day. Just he <laughs> come out of his room. 
He's on FaceTime to some be- girl. Like, like, he's that guy. So I can imagine in Australia... Um, That's a to talk about. Yeah, especially well. the time difference as well. He's up. Because remember the time difference? Mm. He's up late at night. So it's it, her daytime speaking to her. But I didn't know all of this. It's only, unfortunately, when his um, mum passed, he called me. And then um, I called my mum. He called me and t- gave me the news. Called my mum and said, mum, what should I do? She said, listen, just go to his house and just be there for him. I said, all right, cool. I've gone to his house. <clears throat> he's, in the, he's locked himself in the room upstairs. I've gone in the room. I said, bro, like, you know what I'm like already. Like, I don't want to do tears. Let's just speak about the good times that you had. With. Obviously, I know it's a bad day, but do you know what I mean? I'm, he, he gets it. He's like, all right, cool. I've got something to tell you. I said, what? He goes, I'm trying to this girl, man. I think she's the one. I said, who? He said, I oh, don't laugh at me. I don't laugh at you. Like, shows me this girl from Australia. I said, Australia? Uh, how you not gonna make that work, bro? I said, said Marvin Mar- Mar- Avery Lincoln Bay is from Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, you, how you gonna make that work? He goes, oh, she, apparently she, um, she's moving here. She's got a job here. She's moving, and then we'll see how it goes. So, all right, cool. No, keep me posted. Boom. Um, I think two months, maybe three months later, she's come over. They've gone on their first date. He sent me a video of them on the date. They went to a shisha lounge in like North London. They filmed a video. So she's basically on hi, I'm Shanice. Blah, blah. Hello, Taser. Clement told me a lot about you. Blah, blah. Cameras panned to Clement. The way this guy was so puppy dog idea. Yeah? I said, yeah, he's this gone. He's the one. I sent it to David. I said, David, gone. he's gone. All he has to do is play his cards right. This woman has him. And literally, they started dating. And then, fast forward, they got married the other day. You know, everyone listens going, oh. Yeah, like, like I've, I've seen it like play all, out. I know all the girls are like, oh. Even the man them. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> oh, fuck that shit, man. You remember? Like, I've seen, I saw it play out with my own eyes. Like, it's literally, so, to, so, so now she was here for a bit. She didn't really, I don't, I'm not sure she really liked it, but she wanted to go back home. Yeah. She moved back. Clem was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to move back with you. So that's when he moved in December. Yeah. But when he told us, he just dropped it like he was going shortage. Yeah, you, man, I'm moving. How are you moving? Australia. I didn't even take it seriously when he first said, oh, whatever, man. I said, no, 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 big my thing. Like, End of the year. He said this to me mid last year. I'm like, what? Right, you man, it's, it's real, you know? And he goes, yeah, we're getting married. So you man, next year, stag wedding. So we're like, oh, so he's told us a year mm-hmm. in advance. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's, he's made, it's made sense though, because remember, he's, he's, there's nothing, not in a rude way. There's nothing keeping him. No, that's what I said. So I thought by his mum, sometimes you need to be away from. This is a new experience. Yeah, man. Because remember like, when he's here, I know he might be thinking about his mum mm. or certain things. When you're away and it's a clean slate, and fresh start But it's mad because That was going to be My best man's speech Until I actually forgot that I'm not one of the guys That's giving the speech But My speech so, is oh, gonna... so You weren't best man I was one of the groomsmen I wasn't the best man His brother was best man Yeah But um, In my speech It was basically I was basically going to highlight that The only two People that would have Kept Clement here In London Is his sister's daughter His niece And Mia My daughter mm. his, his god daughter those are the only two people I'll say, if they said big man, nah, seriously, stay. He would have found it hard to move. Apart from that, and then I thought about like, he wants to go to Australia to make his own one. Man said, you asked me, uh, do you write Uncle Clement leaving? <laughs> Who? <laughs> yeah, Clement goes to Australia. <laughs> <You're laughs> Who man is that? You're dumb. Now, they're actually close. Clement and nah, I'm bad close. I'm bad I'm bad so, um, so yeah, so obviously, Bali, Thailand made, that's their like version of Spain when you live in Australia. That's like, their version like of Spain. Europe, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, it's it made, close, like, yeah. Like close. No, it's not close. It's seven hours. To it's still seven hours. You yeah, know, I'm saying in comparison to here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Seven hours. I can get to New York in seven hours. Yeah, but, but you see, New York bro, is six hours. Oh, bro. bro, if you think of where Australia is in relation to every no, no, but because we're saying it's in terms of Europe, I can be in Plus France. Dubai, okay, what's the flight to Dubai? Dubai, yeah, Dubai, it's about six hours. Yeah, yeah six, same thing. You man travel to Dubai like like no, no, but like, you know what I mean. Like, I hear that, but that's not, I'm like not gonna, I'm not going to tell you Dubai's around the corner though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, but to them, that's not our local. But to them, like, that's, that's their local. Like, like Thailand, Bali is like their version of going to like Spain. So what was it like over there? Because I've never. Been, well, how long was the flight to Bali? Did you did it direct stop over? To... So it was nine. Uh, no, sorry, it was first going there. It was mm-hmm. I think s- just over six hours to Qatar. Okay, seven hours, and then stop over. But literally, my stopover was so quick. As soon as I got off my plane, it was go to the gate. Yeah, I was like wavy. Quickly got food, jumped to the next plane, and it was another six hours going there. Coming back, that's twelve hours in total. Yeah, it was about 12 hours there. Coming back, it was nine hours back to Qatar and then seven hours to London. So it's 16 hours. Yeah. 
my flight, my journey back from Australia took a lot longer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Wind. I probably have no idea. But literally, my route there was about thirteen hours, and then coming back. You know, you know when you go New York, it is. Is it longer? It's longer when you're going there. It's seven and a bit hours, I think. When you're coming back, it's six and a bit hours because yeah, you're going against the wind and. They probably that probably um, makes sense. Yeah. But so yeah, so I went to um, Thailand first, um, Phuket. Weird, you don't like Phuket. If I'm being honest. I don't think you don't like it. It's um, what's it wasn't surprising. I expected it. It was like a going to back to Nigeria, like the streets, the way everything is, the hustle, yeah, very rural. how busy it is. Yeah, it was. It was very like. I've been here because I know one girl who recently went. And she's like, oh, "You're not gonna like it." I'm like, "Yeah, but you probably packed all your Dior's and Pradas." She's like, "Yeah, how did you know?" I'm like, "I know you. I'm not going there doing that. Plain black tees, plain white tees, shorts, and crap. I didn't wear socks once on this trip. Even in your trainers? Nah, there was no point. Uh, I, I wear ankle socks. Nah, man. brother, they, but it's a myth. I can't, man. No, nah, but I just think... threw up, but all the crap that I wore. No, nah, no, nah, but that's the thing. They weren't even stinking. It was weird. When I was coming, because I, I literally thought I'm gonna throw my trainers away at the end of this trip because I literally brought like the old ones. Cause I'm walking on dust and all of that, but by the end of the trip, it's like that nah, was calm. Like it wasn't even that bad. But yeah, anyway, <clears throat> so I went to Thailand first, stayed in a nice little hotel. When we checked in, some white brothers checked in after us. Yeah, they didn't even put their suitcases in their bedroom. These men just put the suitcase in the reception, went straight to the massage parlor. <laughs> Man, Straight away, bro. Man said, they, "I know why I'm here." They didn't waste no time. But yeah, as a black man <laughs> in. Um, Thailand <laughs> They, they wanted, are on to you They wanted bro. to fuck Big brother uh, Massage Big black strong I didn't want to film it Because I didn't want to be that guy People are like Oh These is going to these Third world countries Do you know what I'm saying Passport bros But they're on to you <laughs> Like you're walking past They're grabbing your arm And their grip is strong This is why enough. Taser was mad You know Because he's like Passport bros are fucking up The economy Nah for, but it's you know, it's for, for, for the real sex <laughs> No nah, but it's One thing I might say about Thailand Obviously I went to If I went to just Thailand I probably wouldn't have this perspective because I did Thailand and Bali in the same week here. Yeah. I was speaking to Ant about it and he's like, Thailand is very, um, there's a word for it, hedonistic. Okay. Bro, you walk down the road, you just see an old white man and a Thai girl come out the alley. Party every time. So well, party over here. they beat. You, 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 the assumption is something happened. But you can tell that literally, if you've got money, you, above, you're, anything can happen, bro. But then again, you, there's, a, there's a thing called, I think it's called Bangra Lane or Bangra Alley. Bro, this strip, so that's like the active. that's like the red light, that's like the red light district of um, Thailand. Yeah, but it's the more active. Soho of Thailand. It's more active though because on in on the red light district they don't have a club on that strip. I don't know. I've never been. They've got they've got bars and pubs. They don't have a club. Imagine coming out a club, brother. That strip would be so active if there was a club right there. You go in there, get burst, come out. You just see cheeks. Yeah, I saw I saw a dude talk about Thailand. They said, "What's the wildest thing you've seen?" He said, "A woman took a frog. A, a frog came out of a woman's um, vagina." Oh yeah, so and, I, and then, then she put it back afterwards. Yeah, so I, we, we, yeah, no, 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 we went to a um, ribbit, ribbit. We went to a, a ping pong. It's called a ping pong show. Um, we've gone to a rave, and the raves were right. There's no, there, there's no babes in these clubs, bro. No, like when I say in Bali or in Thailand, Thailand, I'm talking about Thailand. Now. You got, Thailand. you got to take a babes with you. Yeah, one hundred. You have I to take fucked a, up by not have, taking a friend. You should, you should take a babes with you. There was one brother, yeah, yeah he, American guy. He was with a babes. Cheeks was dumb. I looked at him like, oh, you are living. Like, in that, where I was, in that frame of mind, he's living life. His girl went on stage. She's twerking. All of us are like, oh, my God. We, we wish we had you, right? You know what it was? It's like, oh, this guy's winning right now. Because he had the right idea. We went with bear man. But obviously, it was a stag, in it? But then, um... I probably said bear girl. Fink was out there, to be fair. Um, Kaz. Kaz Crossley. She, she, the one that was in Love Island. That rings the, oh, the black girl. No, it's Thai. She's Thai. Oh, I don't know this. Yeah. yeah, she's cool. I met her in Dubai. Yeah, she was out there. Um, cool people. She has like a um, retreat slash combat movement. Okay. So, so a lot of girls were with her for the retreat and then learning, I think, like Thai boxing. Yeah, Muay Thai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that was sick. Seeing her and her girls was a, was a little vibe still. But um, yeah, that? so like to that rave. one night, we've gone to the rave. Rave is a bit, mm. So we're like, oh, let's go somewhere else. And then outside, it's like, Fuck it, we have to go to a ping pong show at some point. We've gone there. I think it was like a thousand. Cause the, and that's another thing. Currency out there is crazy. Yeah, I heard it's cheap still. No, as in the currency. Like get bare, you can get bare food like it's cheap. So like in Thailand, um, let's say bottles were a hundred pounds. 
So that's what? 4,500. Bach, Bach, whatever it's called, the, the currency. <laughs> it's, it's B-A-H-T. Bach. Yeah, Bach, yeah. That's 4,500, yeah. When we went to Bali, that's 2 million. 2 million? But a 2 million is 100 pounds. So, so, so you go to a, we went to one rave and they were like, oh, the table's 20 M's. Everyone looked at me like, what? I'm like, but that's a bag. There's like 12 of us, man. It's like 80 pound each, man. The tables are a bag over there as well. No, but there was, there was 13 of us. Yeah, yeah, so we had to get a big table. But um, that's what does it come with, by the way? Bottles and shisha and food. No, but how much? Um, in quantity. Oh, so a bottle would probably be like four million. No, I'm saying what's the quantity? So, you know, like for the yeah, bag, How many bottles do you get for like, the table? Like, what do they put on the table for a bag? No, your minimum spend is 20 M's. Whatever yeah, you get, you no, get... No, saying, what does it come oh, with? So, okay, so that day probably no. came... I think the bill came out to like 23 mil and it was four bottles, two shishas and bare food, like bare sushi. Okay. Yeah, See, just, I would love that shit. Just, no, but sushi was with chicken, funny enough. I didn't know sushi is just the... Uh, yeah, you can get... yeah. Well, you, you go to a sushi place and get chicken and hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it, it was a vibe. Yeah. But yeah, going back to Thailand. So we left, got into the ping pong show. Cool. Walked in now, no phones, obviously. All right, cool. Got a little table at the back. Bro, as soon as I sat down, there was three strippers in front of me. Three, immediately. Hello. And they're, they're so polite. Like, imagine, yeah? They're, they're saying to you, would you like me to sit down and join you? But then they're doing this. Every single gesture. So I'll pour, they'll pour a shot for me. Can I have a shot? Yeah. <laughs> well, the way Taser's putting his hands together and bowing his head for people. No, obviously, yeah, for the, <laughs> yeah, for the people are not watching. I'm literally thinking, bowing. What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> like, they're, they're so polite. One of them even backed out a tea. Do you want to touch? I'm like, this is so mad. Taylor, Taylor said, We're at the, we're at the club. <laughs> at the ping pong show. Taylor said, yes, please. Oh, you're at the ping pong Bro, show. Bro, there's three, oh, yeah. three of them. And then Do at some point, they the rang something time? and then all of them have gone to the stage. And now the man, they're obviously sitting there looking, thinking, hmm, let's assess what I've gone. All but naked, just walking up and down. Mm-hmm. I've been to Miami. I've been to ATL. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's long, it's long. What? Listen, Taylor was there saying... I care about is business. <laughs> That's the only thing I have on my mind. That's the only thing I'm, I'm living hey. for. But when you go to the place, it, 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 it kind of messes it excuse of your thing. Like the, this, this, this baps. Like baps was. You know what I mean, cheeks. Oh, mm. listen. <laughs> then one woman's like, "Cool, my turn." Comes out, yeah, brother. The first one we saw, she's standing on the um, stage with a shirt on. <laughs> so I know even the, even the. Um, I wish it was that one first. You know, she had a shirt on with a little tie. Walking up and down the stage, music's playing, and she just bends over and pulls out a razor. Like a yeah, razor, a blade. Me no, out. a blade. You know that like the razor blade? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No, pussy. Pulls it out, yeah? And it's, a, it's attached to a string. But she continued to pull out like 30, bro. Just pulling it out. The string's just getting longer and longer. I'm like, your inside of you must be finished. What's going on? That was the first one. And she put it back up. Wow. Bow. Thank you. Walked off. Cool. The man never really like, yeah. yeah. What's her name? Can Gillette? Get a drink? You're dumb. <laughs> the man is really like, yeah, can we get a drink, please? This is mad. Next one. Unless we're not watching this over. The next one, <laughs> Rio was finished. Like he was, he, he wanted to be sick with this one. She's walked out, yeah, with a with a bowl of water. Just a bowl, like a fish bowl. She put the fish bowl in the middle of the stage. She's walked up and down. Bloop. Push a push one fish out of her pussy into the into the bowl. What? But it was so quick. You were like, wait, what? Done it again. Boom. Two. Again. Three. Again. Four. Again. Five. Five fishes was just chilling up there. While she's walking up and down the stage, just releasing them. Then she tried to sprinkle the water on, on the crowd. Ah, the man never feared me. I said, what? <laughs> I lost my fucking hey. mind, you crazy. Yo, that's two. The third one, she pulled out, she came on the stage. What fish were these, like goldfish or tilapia? They were long, you know, they were fish was about, you know, like, the, they were probably like the length of a school ruler. For, that's a foot? Yeah, five of them. Mad thing. Wait, a small school the... ruler. No, the, the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fishes, foot, bro. bro. Big fishes. Five of them in her gut. But uh, I don't know what was going on. Nah, the, the last woman, it's impossible, bro. The, sorry, the third woman What's came out. What's she out there dropping them in a the fucking aquarium? I don't know. <laughs> Roger. The third one came out. <laughs> They did um, a sex show. So this brother came on with the elastic band around his piece. 
Oh, the dick ring. Yeah, and then he was just chopping all over the stage. In the they had like a little bath thing, a little shower thing. <laughs> he was just chopping all over. I was like, is he gonna bust? Was he just chopping? Because it got to the point where he was chopping for so. He was just chopping. It was media. We were just talking to amongst each other. Like, everyone's looking like, have you? Are you done yet? And eventually he finished, and then they, they came off the stage. Then this woman's come on with a toy in her hand. I was thinking, what the fuck? She puts the toy on the floor. It's not even a toy. It's like a like a running thing. She just pushes out a gerbil, like Jesus. And it's just about a gerbil just come out of pussy and he's okay. running, just running around this thing, lad. On the wheel. <laughs> on the wheel, just running around. Jeez. And she pushed it back up, pushed it out again. Wait, hold on. This is in the family. Yeah. Let's do. But, but this, the last woman, the <laughs> hamster one, finished everyone. Everyone was like, bro, let's go soon. I said, yeah, wait, there's one more woman. Brother, you're saying let's go soon. When the woman done the, wait. What, the razor? You'd have been that. The, from yeah. the razor, I'm <laughs> no, gone. But, I want, but you know me, I wanted to see. That's the it, most dangerous one. Yeah, I hear that, but they weren't cutting them. So but they, they, and or maybe, maybe they're blunt. And that's the sad thing about this. This is what they do every day. Think about it. Is it one show a day? No, it's like 12 a day. That's what I'm saying. That's right. what I'm saying. But it's just what time you go. But it's the same as Amsterdam, their section. So then the fifth one that was like mad is she came out with a banana and a bowl. She, un- she re- unraveled the banana, put it in her pussy, went to one side of the stage and then told a guy from the audience to stand on the other side of the stage with the bowl. And she sputter. Sh- the the s- strength of her pussy, mad thing. Let's say pelvic floor is... Fam! She's pushing <clears throat> it. So from like the door, yeah. she's reaching that door. One push <laughs> out of the pussy. What came out? Banana. Back. Across the room In the air And aim for the bowl Obviously this guy was In awe He didn't even flip in Catch Move it. the bucket Whatever So he missed it She took it back again Done it again Done it about three times I said yeah this Wait is hold it. on How far away was it? So she's there Yeah. She's aiming for the toilet door And she, and the banana Banana it, yeah, So she's on the it, floor is On it, her back is, is it in the skin or No out the skin She pushed it in Banana and, man you know And she's shooting it up I said yeah this is all mad Bear in mind what, As this is going on the strippers are still like loitering, trying to put titty in the man name's hand and that. Like they're just chilling, waiting for dough. It's one of the things where it's like if you got dough there hanging about, then then the next one, the white, I think she started doing the ping pong balls. And then one white don's gone on the stage and put his head out, open his mouth. She's kind of just let the, the water just drip out into his mouth. I said, yeah, you man, I think it's time to go. <laughs> so you've all got a toilet that you've left. Yeah, so that that's was well, that's what I was like. Well, you well. see Thailand, mad. And then when you go to that strip after a rave, like four in the morning. You're just seeing bare lady boys. There's bare of them. Tall, <laughs> short, fat, slim. There is bare of them. I'm like, right. And it's any of the madam devil. Nah, come on, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know what people are into. It's 2020. But don't discriminate. No, we're not. I said, don't discriminate. But do you know what was mad seeing? Like, just old white men walking down the strip, bare drunk, and just walking to the woman, like, yeah, follow me. And then they'll just go down the alley. Like, I don't know if he knows or he doesn't know, but either way, they're making it. They're living life over there. But you know what? You, bro, he knows. They're, they're living life over there. You think you flew down for no reason. But you know what? Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? <laughs> no, no, but I think these men are not. These I'm not talking about. Obviously, they're tourists because they're not from that they're country. There but no, that. but these men have been. You could tell these men are seasoned. They've been yeah, there. That's what they're yeah. there for. So, like, so if you're seasoned, you know you the know. landscape. So yeah. you know what it is. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's different. And, and it's one of them things where, like, Imagine if it means it's awesome. No, I'm no like when when Matthew was doing his research as to what clubs and what bars he we should go to and blah blah. blah. <laughs> Over there, it's not a thing where they shy away from letting you know. They will let you know. Yeah, it's, it's like it's not like how we see it here. What they say, me have dick. Yeah, it's, have you seen the video? You straight. You must have seen the video with the white you and he's there and he's like Jeffrey. Show them your cock, Jeffrey. No, no, no. I've seen that, but he knows. But the way Taylor's saying it is like. From the jump, from the beginning, yeah. they're telling you. Yeah, no, but remember, because loads attitude, of people are there for that. Yeah, the attitude we have is that, ah, oh, we've got a shout above. We've gone on a strip where it's renowned for that. They they know why they're there. So you, us walking down, it's just like, no, no, it's just not, not interested. But there's certain people that are like, that's what I want. Like, how much? Let's go. And that for me was a bit like, hmm. Anyway, left Thailand, gone to Bali. Bali is different. First of all, so how far is Thailand from Bali? The flight was about two and a half, three hours. And then how big is this place? Asia? No, 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 no. The, in, like in terms of Indonesia, in terms of all, because I've seen the on the map when you look, there's Indonesia. Like, there's all these different islands. Yeah, but I didn't know they were that far apart. Nah, three far, hours, bro. They're far, bro. They're far. But remember, Thailand is inland. Is it thingy though? Is it um, 
Was it like a sea boat or like a normal boat? I mean, a sea oh. plane or like a normal plane? Proper plane, but it's a smaller one. Oh. Yeah. And then, um, so it got to Thailand. You can't do three hours on a sea plane like that. It's mad. What, like the, t- like the plane, like the plane like man cool. took from Trinidad to Tobago? <laughs> hey, that train was cold. That, sorry, that plane was cold. So it had like 16 seats, man. Right? <laughs> right Pro- yeah. Propeller thing. So the one I took from, <laughs> when you get to... Um, Four Divas. Yeah, when you get, I forgot the. No, it weren't that small. It weren't that small. The propeller that's, planes. That's the propeller planes. Yeah, but it weren't that small. And it's just small. bopping and in the yeah, water, yeah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Man, that's that's small. I hate small planes, man. Yeah, and when scary. you hit the water, you, yeah. feel, you feel everything, man. So, got to time, got to Bali pilot, now. Pilot was barefoot, by the way. I was like, Miff. oh my God, mm-hmm. he's comfy. <laughs> so, yeah, got to Bali now. Um, Clement had us in far deep south for the wedding. But the villa that he had was. Daniel. Gerald's got a video. Because Gerald brought his drone in it. So the, the drone films the villa. Oh, bro. If you wake up to that every day, different. But you got to have a family. That's not a, that's not a bachelor's pad. And you're nowhere near the city centre. So like, because we were staying that far out, we still wanted to go raving and stuff like that. But he was obviously sorting out the wedding until the actual day. The taxi was taking us like 80 minutes. 80? Yeah. To it's go an hour to and a half. Rave. Yeah. Go to the rave that's and not, then rave. That's not worth it. And it, no, but what else are you doing? Eight, eight zero. Yeah, but no, in an hour and a half. But what else are you doing? Not that. That's what are you hard. doing? You're yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Playing games in the house. Games with who? Everyone else. All the other guests. I hate no, you they all travelled. They, they all flew out. They all gone raving. Obviously, no, no. I'm not talking about the. I'm not talking about the. The bear in mind, her side of the um, wedding, a lot of the guests were married already. There was no singletons. It wasn't like. Groomsmen, bridesmaids, and we ro- it wasn't like that. It's just whoever we were with. So it was me, uh, Tunde, Robert, Henry, Silas, Rio, Esther, Amari, Cads, Gerald, Christina. That was our batch. And then they were just rolling out. So it was all, every time we went, Matthew, every time we went out, it was like eight to 12 of us, two taxis, maybe three. Boom. Um, so Raven and Barley was calm, obviously linked up with Anne a couple of times. Again, just bare Australians. Like, if you're a man that loves white girls, psh, you will love Bali. But the reason why I said earlier that I like my, my, my big ones now, nah, there was one girl at the pool party we went to. So there was a, there's a place called Finns. It's labeled the best beach club in the world. Yes. Mm. We've walked here. We've walked in, got a, a booth or table, whatever. One black girl's walked past. Her body, like everything was perfect. Tapped Matthew. Matthew's like, nah. So you don't understand. You don't you, like them that big. Can you chat to her? Nah, nah, nah. She was with, she was with her brother. So, I'm not. I'm not like that. No, I hear that. No more. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you chat to girls when they're with Donnies, but I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd never do that. Nando's I don't like that either, So <laughs> We're chilling in Nando's And the girl was praying mouth And then If you see the brother She was with You see the crepes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah it was, but it, we, was just, it was disrespectful uh, I get what you're saying I, I have respect for him I wasn't engaging But she was barely on it crepes. Yeah yeah So that's what I'm saying I'm, I don't like that Because I wouldn't I wouldn't want that The other way around And I'll, I'll say so. But if I went toilet And yeah. she was to speak to me That's different No but that's different though Exactly But she showed interest in you yeah. For me to go over there and show interest in her is rude. It's rude for me to also engage if she showed me interest in her. Nah, not private. No, if, if, it's I see, privately. if I see her with a guy, it's just Nah, 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 if it's privately. But this is, all is fair love is war, you know, but I just want to do it in front of man. No, nah, but I want to do it in front of man, but her body, going back to her body. But when you say big, because what you don't want to do is give a false give a false narrative and then nah, the okay, next, okay, so, next okay. minute you're... Right, um, cool. So wait, three guys in the room, what's your definition of big? No, but I think my I think my definition of big and your definition of big is different. Okay, so give me an example. Um, Someone that everybody who's listening will know. Lizzo is big. What side of big is Lizzo though? See? No, but come on, man. Like, wait, what? So there's no... Wait, wait, you're moving mad. That's the first person you come to mind. Smooth operator. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, Smooth man. Smooth operator. operator. Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo is plus size, but I'm not talking about... That's, um, not, that's what I'm saying. So when you say big, is that do you okay, mean, what size is what size do, do, do you mean? Do you let mean me it. do you mean thick? Yeah, but let me because you know sometimes you can get a woman that is big, but she's shapely big. That's, uh, that's as what as I meant. As in like like so our voluptuous is what you mean. Yeah, yeah, but, but well, again, sometimes that's, you can get big and it's just like. But again, that's perspective. Round. Okay, I'm I'm searching how uh, what's Lizzo's dress size? Mm. She's like an eighteen twenty. But they're lying on there, bro. What is it? 
While Lizzo has never officially confirmed her dress size, most estimate most, most estimates put her at size eight or ten. There might be another Lizzo. That's Lizzo. No, that's, like... that's, that's Lizzo from Spain. That's not the same Lizzo. Because I know I know eight and ten. Like this is Liz, what I'm saying. Lizzo's Lizzo's about at eighteen. At eight, but she's either twenty eighteen or sixteen. But I think sixteen is a push. I know she's been um, working out a bit anyway. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so when you say big. I say like size 14, 16. Do you know what it is? For me, for me, yeah. When, when I'm, when I'm, as I, I don't know what, I, it's weird though because you, you look at a girl, yeah. And something would just, I don't know what it is. Something inside you'd be like, ooh. Like Georgia Smith now. The video that everyone's going on about. Mwah. Yeah, see, that's not for me. I'm, no, but I'm not saying it's for me. I'm, but I'm saying I like, I like it. But it's not like, I can see why Keith will say, nah, Taser, you're lying. But I have my, there's moments where I'll be like, no, nah, no. Nah. Do you know what's mad? People say to me all the time, whenever I do my questions, who's your celebrity crush? I don't have one, bro. But do you know who I do have now? Scissor, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, Scissor. Look. What? Yeah, Scissor. Scissor, yeah, listen, I'm going to put this clip out anyway, because you're in London. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you're here by my TikTok, <laughs> I swear to you, yeah? If you want me to lodge this pod, my will lodge these, man, you know, future's is over, bro. Scissors, let's let just say the word, did it? You get me? Do you know who's nice? Have, have you seen um her name is Deborah Ayorinde? Who's that one? She's an actress. She done the um the show Them with Bashi. Did you see her at um No, I didn't see her. She's Christian. She's you nice. see her at Moe's after party? No. Oh my god. But you know, I was at the bar, yeah. I looked back, I said, yo. Do you know what is do you know what my thing is, yeah? My my issue, yeah, is you're right. My my issue is this, yeah, that when people don't find that black women attractive, bro, I'm like, brother, like, I don't even want to be name dropping because it's, it's, but like, even most after party, there were certain babes I looked at, I was like, you are very pretty. Like, I don't understand it, safe man. Like, the amount, the amount of, like, you can reel off women that you can look at, like, obviously, you got like the Nia Longs. You got your Gabriel Unions. You got um, even, for example, the woman that what? Your oh, car's car. in front of his. Oh, I'll move it one sec. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, I can't remember where I was, but I was saying that yeah, that like within the scene in general, like there's so many beautiful women, black women. Obviously, women of all colors, because obviously we've got listeners from all demographics. But there's so many beautiful black women. Like even even the woman that was in um. Woman in James Bond. Um, the one that plays the other James Bond, the Asian, because she's in um, Doctor Strange. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, there's so, listen, there's so many babes, bruv, that there's, are pretty. Do you know what I'm saying? There's the one from Thing, um, Black Lightning. Aye, right, them the, the, the sisters. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, the older one. Yeah, the older one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Chris, man. Um, Nefesta Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, bro. There's bare, there's, that's what I'm saying. There's big women that are like gorgeous, bro. But that Chris, bro. Mm. Do you know who's one that's underrated? Mm. I don't think she's underrated. I think people are really appreciating her now, but there's there's people that would have said, I've been talking about her for early. Kelly Rowland. Uh, I love Kelly Rowland from the from the jump, bro. Bro. From back day. She's aged very well. Kelly Rowland, gorgeous, bro. Ooh. Mm. Do you know what's me? Do you, do you know what's me? Yeah, it's like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to love dark skin girls. Yeah, but it was something to do with when they, especially when they go on holiday. One time, my ex who's gone in during holiday, she came back, bro. Oh my god! You know they get the the glow on the skin. Yeah, I said, yo. Do you know who's the mm, lips are lips that day, bro? Do you know who's noir as well? Yeah. Cashto. Cashto, the rapper. Yeah, but she plays um, I can't remember she, um, in BMF. She's Lamar's baby mum. Ah, oh, I, I need to see a picture. Oh. Lala's another one, blood. I told you, I tap out of Lala, you know. What? Oh, because of the BBR? I don't know. She, no, she's always been pretty, though. There's something about JT I like as well. JT. The one that's with Diddy, the city girl. No, that's Young Miami. That's not JT. JT's the one with Uzi. For oh, no, not that one. The Young Miami. There's something about her. I don't know. I, I, I just, she's cheeky, it, man. It's, yeah, it's the way she talks. Like She's like... She seems, she seems kind of like, not ditzy, but I like it still. I don't know where it is. That's a ditzy. Sometimes I like girls that are ditzy. 
We need to see her in the show. That's like the thing. I'm, oh, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. Watch yeah, she's nice still. Yeah, you don't watch um, Power. There's another uh, woman in Power, um, the Canaan one. Miles is on her. The mum. Oh, the what? Fifty's mum. Yeah, <laughs> man, I feel loud that one, bruv. <laughs> what? Yeah, but so we hear of this. Apostle, we hear of this, nah, nah. I think, I think it's like the attitude. Nah, no, right. Nah, nah, I'm right. I, I know that one. Do you know what? She's pretty, but she got like the Jackie Brown vibe. She's, Jackie Brown was buff, though. <laughs> she got that vibe. Back in the seventies, bro. <laughs> Jackie Brown back day. That's what I'm telling you. Like the mum in the Cosby's, the mum in the Cosby show. I swear to you, at one point she was the most beautiful woman in the world, blood. I'm telling you. That's the um the mum in Creed. In Creed, Creed. yeah, but she's old now, and obviously not now. No, I'm just saying. But in the Cosby show, brother. Yeah. What's her name again? Oh, I can't remember, man. Something Bassett. No, no, no. That's not, no, 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 it's not Bassett. Brother, in the Cosby show, yeah, she was so crisp, bro. Um, Felicia Rashad. Brother, don't piss me off. I, I, I remember like watching the reruns and thinking, after I'm like, brother, you're, you're a break. <laughs> I said, you're a break. Like, who is this? Nah, nah, she was nice, bro. Nah, she was clean, she was just clean. But yeah, but in t- getting back to the body types and that, like, I've always liked cheeks, innit? People know that, innit? So, but it's just shape, innit? But sometimes you can see a, a, a girl that's a bit big and be like, do you know what? I don't know what it is, but I'm drawn to you, though. Do you know what it is, though? I think sometimes some girls don't know how to dress. So the way they dress here, yeah, they look bigger than they actually are. Because they feel like, because I'm big, I'm going to wear oversized clothes. And it's like, mm. when you take them out of the clothes, it's like, it's, it's like when girls wear, when it's sundress season, and they wear that sundress. Maxi, like, wear, Maxi dress. Oh, God, a second. And the thing's giving them wedgie. Hey, oh, and the body's looking mad. The, the wedgie's mad, the, bro. The tie's looking, the calf, everything. Yo, but I'm telling but, you. But hasn't a girl ever been to your yard before and she's got dumb cheeks here? Yeah? And she puts her clothes on and you sit there and you're like, where the cheeks go? Right? If I didn't know you, I wouldn't have thought you had cheeks. Well, it's them, it's them, it's them, dick, them, them boyfriend them, jeans, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them Mario jeans. Yo, they used to love it, man. Super Mario jeans, Lo- man. <laughs> Looking like a plumber, man. <laughs> hey. But, but in the same breath, though, I don't like when girls do the whole gym pants all the time. Every day you want to let everyone know you got a body. Sometimes hide it, man. Conceal it a little but bit, man. Conceal it. Yeah, but, if you, but if you got dumb cheeks, you got dumb cheeks, though. No, I, I know a girl that's got dumb cheeks. Yeah, she came to my birthday party, bro. I didn't know. You know, you, you, that's another one as well. When they catch you off, <laughs> yo, the energy towards them is all different now. Oh, the girl talks to you and you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She walks. She's gonna see you later. I say, yeah, cool, cool. You walks off and you see. There's one time, yeah, where. I'm not, I can't even say the rave. It was years ago. Actually, like, I can say the rave. It was um, Robin, she's his birthday. Then one girl behind me must have pinched me, pinched my bum in it. And I turned around and I saw two girls standing there. So I'm like, what are you still doing, man? Anyway, so I've like done the wipe smile, you know, the whatever, mind my business. Then one of the girls that I didn't know which one it was must have gone to the toilet. Oh <laughs> my God. Becky, look at uh, her butt. Brother, I said, you know what? Come on, <laughs> come on, pitch me again. What's it? What's it? You know what? I said, the only thing I care about is business. That's the only thing I have on my mind. That's the only thing I'm, I'm living for. Brother, <laughs> hey, uh, looney tunes, bro. <laughs> I said, because the thing is, I activated. So I was like, yeah, Because, yeah, okay, yeah. wait, without making it bait, yeah? Because yeah. seeing as we're talking about beautiful black women, do you remember um, Drake, O2? And the, uh, that girl there? Fam. Brother. Oi, oi. Hey, give tap, me my props, bro. Tap out. Can you give me my props, please? Tap out. Can you what? give me my props, please? Listen. Now, let the listeners know. This babes that I was talking to. Brother. What? Oi. Fine, bro. Come on. You tried to run past and said, big man, I've never squeezed my triceps so much. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Do you know what it is? I, hey. I, I, rarely, I rarely see a girl, yeah, and I'll say to a man, who's that? Because I'll just be like, I'll see her again or whatever. That one, listen, I done. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, who's that? 
As a listen, let us see, man, in my full splendor. Right, that thing there. I taste your ass. And the yeah, guy's a on. Mac Daddy, bro, in my hey, full splendor. Hey, listen, everyone in that venue, that part there, row 111 or whatever block we was in, yeah? Everyone went black, bro. She's crisp, bro. She lit up like a golden brother. But you know what's weird is, but with women, it depends that like, when you see your type, that's it. It's weird though because my type might not be your type, your type might be my type. But sometimes you can both see a woman, it's it like, like you can both be like, yo. She was clean, bro. Harland. We still talk though. It's, it's just not, not in there, man. But sometimes that's what you need sometimes though. But you know, it's, it's, it's a line, isn't it? It's a stars, isn't it? Sometimes if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's not, it's not. But do you know what's mad about her though? Imagine. I'm in my thirties now. I've, I've and how many times have I gone raving? I've never seen her out. Yeah, yeah, that's why that moment when I saw her, I didn't give a fuck who else was there. Don't fuck up my thing. Let me just speak to her. Spoke to her, whatever. I vibe was good. Invited her to a rave. Boom, that was the wrong mistake. In that rave, we stood next to each other the whole night. Bare girls bothering you. So. Oh my yeah. God, you Marv, up. you don't fuck up. But you know what's mad? On a normal, when I go to this rave, no one comes and says hello. No one goes out their way to say hello to I me. I can't lie to you. I'm, I'm not bringing a girl to a rave. I didn't bring her. She was going there anyway. But I said, I'm going to meet you there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not meeting you there. Because, Bro. because I think the problem with... That and it was rave, her. The problem with raving with, with girls, yeah, is women pick up on other women's energy in it. That's one thing. And also, some women make it seem like it's nothing. I mean, some women make it seem like it's something when it's nothing. Like, yeah. A girl might like you, but make it seem like you're sort of talking. So she's trying to look engaged energy, just thinking, because you're single, so you are having your right to talk even but if you are. But big man, I've seen you at the last six raves. You didn't give me no energy. The moment you see a pretty girl beside me, all of a sudden, oh my God, hello, Taze, yeah, are you all right? That's, that's what it is. Move, so. man. Or girls will come up to you and whisper in your ear, oh, she's pretty. Fuck off. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Fuck off. Like, what are you doing Hello. Because I would never walk up to you and go, oh, he's tall. <laughs> hey, he looks strong. He's hung. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, what? Hey, yo, what? No, I'm just saying you never do that. What's going on here, man? I'm just saying you never do that. Butter. It's bad. <laughs> I said, look up the whole ring. <laughs> Where's it hung? What? <laughs> hey, hey nah, yo! I can't lie to you. There's one one rule for women and another rule for us. I've 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 accepted that. I don't even fight it no more. I can't be bothered. Do you remember when I went to um? I didn't tell you. I went faded with um my other friend, another beautiful black woman from Sweden, and oh, all yes. of these all of these other all these other girls are just surrounding her, basically chatting shit to her. Luckily, because she's not from the same culture, she didn't understand what was going on. Well, that's why I like. I can't be asked, bro. That's why even like, some of our friends from America want to fly into the UK. I don't know where I'm going to go with them. <laughs> I honestly don't know where I'm going to actually take yeah, you. You can't you, go somewhere where you... When you land. Yes, you can't go but, somewhere where there's bare other people that you know. It's not, it's not even that. Like, the way girls... Because remember, she's going to want to... Some of these girls are going to want to, like, meet with people who live here. Naturally, it's going to be girls. Ah, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, mm. bro. Because imagine the other way around, for the, just, just give context, yeah? An American guy flies in um, and he's like, yo, uh, Marv, Taze, where's the hottest spot to go to? Recommend a couple spots. No, funny enough, it happened to us in New York. Do you remember we was going to get on the lift and this guy was like, oh, you lot from London? Uh, Let me show you your babes that I'm talking to. Brother. Bro, if you might saw the babes that this brother was talking to. Taze was like, yeah. Taze was like, oh, no. no but she don't know you. <laughs> no, but she don't know you. Is what I was thinking. Because she knew this is how you was dressed. She's not chatting to you. But it's because you're foreign. Is this, is this how she knew you were living? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the press the button, bro. <laughs> well, it's, it's the novelty of uh, my man's from America. Yeah, yeah. This girl is walking past man in the end. No, but, but my point is, the difference is, you didn't say anything. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, but, but my point is, but on the flip... Girls are rubbish, you. Might be like, yeah, this, this is... Uh, like, for example... My friend's uh, been there. That, yeah, my friend used to link him. Or, do you know what? A man, they like girls too much. Like, what are you doing? Why, why are you... Wait, why, what's going first on? First of all, my friend used to link... Who? Who? Because I hate this one that, ah, uh, you link someone and, ah, uh, I didn't even tell you. Imagine, one girl, one girl caught wind of a discussion, yeah? And decided to use it to weaponize her story, yeah? And has told someone that I know 
that, by the way, I heard that Taser's outside. When I heard the initial story, this gobbledygoo fuck, whatever the fuck you call Versus it, yeah? Gobbledygoo. Versus get a gang, get a gang, get a goo. Of a, of a story was such bullshit, yet you believe the one she told about me. So when I kind of added that kind of context to it, you're like, ah, oh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You know when girls do this thing where they, they want to share a story, but they don't tell you the name? I hate that. I told, I told you, if you're not going to tell me who it is, don't tell me at all. She told me the name. I said, wait, so you're, you're on the phone telling me that I'm supposedly seeing this person. I'm not seeing this person. Now what? No, but it's just funny how, it's funny how what? I'm, I've answered your question. I am not seeing this person. No, but do you know what the problem is? For some reason, like, I've had a scenario where a girl will lie about man, about seeing her or whatever. But girls, don't, it's like girls be, don't believe that girls can lie. Why would she lie? I like, don't know. I'm just a surprised I, 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 I can't ask this question for you. That why do people murder and steal? There's people in jail. Go to the court when they're going to get sentenced and say, why did you do it? I don't know why they done it. Bro, and it always assume that you've done something mad for her to do that. I'm like, listen, I ain't going to lie to you. Because that's why and I, I, I don't like to do it. Because obviously the people that I'm talking to, I like to believe that I trust them enough to share this. But I don't really exchange nothing no more. But one time I took screenshots of a conversation because I knew this conversation was going to come out to bite me in the ass. When it did, I sent the screenshots to her brethren. She was like, what? I'm like, do you see what I'm saying? It's like, the way she talks about it, you'd think there was more. I said, I told you, I don't, I don't talk to this girl. I don't entertain her. And then look what she's telling you. She's making it seem as if me and her are besties of the year, bruv. But I'm, I think that when it comes to some girls, they just want to be relevant in their conversation. So someone might be, I remember one time when there was a barbecue and then one of my bridges must have rang me and like, yo, there's one girl here chatting about you. Like, but obviously I didn't make it known that I know you, but this is the, like, do you know the girl by so-and-so? But uh, if someone says to you, do you know someone? And you have to say, um, you don't know them. If someone says to me, do you know Taser? I ain't got to say, hmm. I know Taser. Matthew. Oh, which one? My Matthew or Taser's Matthew? Like, you know people straight away. If you have to think, like, uh, brother, even if you do know this person, you don't keep in contact often. Like, there's nothing, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So when she mentioned the girl, thing, I was like, who? No, I don't know. This. So do me a favor, send me a picture or something. Send me a picture. Brother, I said, this girl. <laughs> then, I just, then I said, you know what? This is mad because this girl was trying to link me after Lux. And I was like, nah. Like, it, it was so bad that she was like, she came to Lux and was like, are you looking nice? I said, I'll thank you. But you know me, I'm polite, innit? I'll think, whatever, whatever. So I'm running around Lux, birthday parties, photos, whatever, whatever. Then she's like, are we doing after? But uh, I knew man's going home after. <laughs> man's like, ah, oh, these are, I'm going to go Shoreditch and maybe get something to eat with these lot. Ah, oh, is it? Um, uh, Let me know where you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> going home, blood. Man went home. So I've got messages of her messaging me saying, home, let, yeah. let, nah, let me know what um you're doing, whatever, whatever. You look good, blah, blah, blah. So when this girl's told me about whatever, I've had to screen grab the thing and say, this is the same girl you're talking about that's saying that I was trying to move move to her and she went interested. That's what she's saying in this barbecue. barbecue. And so I was mentioning my name. But it's the other way around. What are you doing? What? But maybe someone's mentioned my name and you want to seem like the girl that is... Do you know no, what I'm saying? But, but, like, what are you no, doing? Imagine that was the flip side. They'll, they'll start calling man corny, bro. I'm over there saying, even homegirl that we just spoke about, that I wouldn't say anything's happened between me and her because nothing's happened. But I could blatantly say that if I wanted strikes because even just a smidgen or something happening, man, they will rate me. But I'm not going to do that because nothing has happened. But even uh, even, to, even girls that things have happened with, I still tell man, I don't even know homegirl. But uh, anytime you want to ask me about a girl, I, I don't even know her. Because now, the way man never move in, Oh, the way man then will start spreading misinformation. But I've told you from day, I've said that from <laughs> the beginning of time. I said that I don't tell anyone, anytime I link it to a babe, I don't even tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously, bro, because the, the problem is with, with, with guys here yeah, is uh, guys will either do three things. A guy will either tell someone they know that you're linking her because they trust that person. Like it might be their best friend. They're like, yo, bro. Like, someone mentioned this thing, like, Who's this thing? Oh, I'm off shopping, you know. So you have told that person in faith, they might tell the other people. Or another man might mention to her, Ra, what is that the man you're linking? Like, what? A man heard you're linking off him. Brother, that is, bro. See, that, that is it. <laughs> Brother. 
Do you think I've ever done that? But do you know what I don't like? Do you man look at us and think that we do that? Is what I always wonder. No, but the game, the, the, the game, the game they're playing, that's how they play. Like, that's like, remember, so, so, everyone, no, everyone's yeah, did, playing football. Them man are doing handball. Yeah, but do they think that we're all playing the same game is what I'm saying? Oh, that's how Taser got her because he did that. I don't think they think that. I just think that they, 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 they want to gain the upper hand. But they all, but do they also think that I can't believe he's, they've gotten her or she's gotten him the way she has? I just think that these men are thinking, I fucking had enough of these men. No, no, no. I think I'm, it's that, like, fuck, another one. No, but, the, no, but the reason why I go to bed very nice at night, yes, yeah, because I do what I want to do. I'm not forced to do anything I don't want to do. Like, even when there's that discrepancies in certain stories that I'm hearing, it frustrates me because I'm like, I'll tell you the truth, you know. Yeah, like, so I'm I, not, I, I think like, it goes all the time. I mean? I'm not hiding yeah. from the truth, but yeah. I just want to know what you know and how it's been said because I want to tell you the truth. I'm not hiding it at all, but it's just, you go into bed with the false information, it, it rubs me the wrong way. Like, I, I, like said, I said to girls, anytime a girl says to me about a friend or they said, my brethren or whatever, I'll be like, who's your brethren? If you say the right uh, name, I I'll, I'll say, yeah. I'll say, listen, if you tell me who it is, I'll tell you the truth. Like, because I'm single, like, I haven't got to lie to you. I don't, I don't have to lie. If I did, I did. If I didn't, I didn't. But I just want to know who it is. And, oh. and better times they told you, you're like, no. Brother, that's, the, that's the worst one. The funniest one that happened to me is one time my boy had um, two girls, brought them to the ends, yeah. And he's knocked my window, like with my where I used to my mom's. Yeah, you'd have to knock my door to get my attention. Just knock my window. So he, I've opened the window. Him two girls, like yo, Taze, like he, he's all saying, yo, like one is yours. You can just pick, and I'll just I'll just take the other one. But I can't take both. I said, brother, I'm busy. I can't even I can't even do the matter. He's like, ah, let me go check Miles. So he just cuts. I don't know. How, I don't know what happens. He cuts. These girls didn't step foot in my room, bro. The rumor was I beat one of them. I said, I didn't even spread the rumor. So in my mind, I didn't tell no one because nothing happened. You did. She came to my window. So number one, who did? Number two, why are you spreading the rumor? It turns out it was the girl. The girl's telling people. Yeah. I, then again, in her defense, because girls do this as well. A girl might say to her brethren, I went to Taser's house. That brethren is now telling people her and Taser fucked. You yeah, were why? No, but there's girls out there that do that. Oh, if you, if, if you were in the house, if you were in his house, you must have fucked. So that means that we did. And then all, all of a sudden, you've, the stories come back to you. You're hearing that you lot done a mad thing. But you didn't even shake a hand. But I heard one time I dated a girl. These times we only spoke on the phone. <laughs> but I must be broadband. Fucking, I must be dated via dial-up. <laughs> That's a copy, sir. But man, never linked this girl. Man spoke to a girl that knew her. And then she was like, oh, um, you're dating my friend. I'm like, who's your friend? Mentioned the name. I said, you never linked up. We just got numbers. Just spoken a couple of times, like WhatsApp and whatever. Yeah, but she believes that you're updated. She believes. Wait, what? Well, that's what she said. Is that what she said to you? She said she believes that you're updated. What? Well, and, and that made sense in her head. No, no. So even, like, even you know, now, remember, girl code is different because remember, she she's looking at it like this. You've been there. Not that I've been. I've kind of been there, but I haven't. But she's looking at it like if her friend's saying this, I'd rather believe my friend than Marvin. And also, the relationship with my friend is worth more than the relationship with Marvin. I don't need a headache. Because some girls look at it like that. Some girls will be like, they'll go there. But some girls are like, I just don't want a headache. I can't be bothered. It's just too but messy. You see, you see stuff like that, yeah? I can't lie to you. If I'm getting to know a girl, yeah? And she introduces me to her friend. I'm not befriending her, Bridget. Because that girl is never on your side. Any little thing you do, all of a sudden, it's enhanced by the Bridget. So you might have a certain way you treat you and your, I'm saying you and your babes. You do it in front of the Bridget and the Bridget has a problem with it. But it's not you I'm doing it to and it's also, good. I'm not doing anything either. Because I get when, when all I'm doing is what maybe in a rave, I'm not entertaining her as much as she wants me to, or I'm maybe speaking to other girls while she's around. But, no, but my we're not together, is, so what's going no, on? But my thing is this: yeah, not no one can say that I've entertained someone more than the other. So, like for example, you've been out with me for how many years? But whenever you ever see me in a corner scrubsing up her babes, I'm not like that. So how can you now, how can your friend now report to you and be like, oh, by the way, he was talking to someone. I was talking to my sister. I was talking to my cousin, talking to my bestie. Like, yeah, what are you but, talking but, about? But on, but on the, I'm playing devil's advocate. On the flip, you have to look at it like, you're normally in your raves or you're very social. You know a lot of people. So guys that they're normally used to dealing with or speaking to, don't speak to as many people in a rave in general, man or male or female in a rave. Mm -hmm. You're speaking to, even that's what I say to the girls as well sometimes when they say, oh, you know a lot of girls, I'm like, but I know a lot of dudes as well, but you're not telling me. You're not paying attention. You're, to not, you're not noticing when I'm saying safe to bear man in his rave. You're not noticing when I'm saying 
safe to um hello to like the ten girls. But what about the fifteen man I spoke to? Or what about the or 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 or? Because this is another thing. We're going to be transparent and honest. They're only worried about the girls that they're threatened by. Because if you true, say so. twenty, if you say hello to twenty five girls and twenty of them they don't rate, they don't care. They're only yeah. bothering you about five. So that's the problem. And this is why I like women to be honest. It's not women that you have a problem with. It's the ones that you feel threatened by. Because mm. it's the same as me. If I was with her babes and she's saying hello to 20, 20 man, but I don't rate none of them, I'm not concerned. Then there might be that one don that David might attack me and be like, yeah, ho. That's hey. a tw- man said 20 footballers. <laughs> it is rough. David might give her the elbow like, yo, big man. <laughs> she knows my man. And that's like, uh, you know, you know, uh. man said she gets hugged by Sancho and Rashford. <laughs> I said, jeez. Hey. Rashford newly singles, all you know. I said, Fuck. I like, I said, M-I-A did, he's <laughs> singing, you know. That's what I'm saying. This, that's what I'm saying. This next gen of footballers is sick because, I know I'm segueing a bit, but back in the day, footballers over here only dealt with like wags and there was a certain kind of footballer girlfriend. Whereas now it's like, because of Instagram and all these things, the world's a lot smaller. These men are like, I'm busting out. I'm getting an American thing. I'm getting a I'm Swedish like, thing. I'm getting, like, do you know what I'm saying? Kaku's holding hands with Megan Thee Stallion, oh, come bro. Come on, my G, come oh, on. Lord. Hey, I can't lie, though. Champions League final. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lukaku, man. You're my guy in that, brother. Oh. Pep even said it in the press conference. They said, oh, um, something about Champions League final. They said, yeah, the only reason why we won it was because the striker missed a um, head he should have scored. Like, he didn't mean it like in a rude way, but he was basically saying that like... They had chances, they didn't Relaxed, take. like we done our thing in Champions League, but the only reason why we done it was because of that miss. That miss was because Inter was above. Inter, I was so yeah, surprised. I watched, Inter, yeah, 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 Inter was onto them. But I think it was a bit of nerves as well with City because City have... They've known to like, fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. I feel like City can do the quadruple. Next season. They they could they could have they could have done it this season. Yeah, but I think next Cause, season, cause they, 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 remember they didn't really they they didn't care about the Carabao Cup. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but City's squad is so deep they could have done that as well. They could have done it. Bro. Yeah, but I don't think next season that everyone else is gonna power up, man. You don't yeah. think everyone else is gonna power up? Yeah, but everyone has to power up to an extent and click and and click. That's okay, what I'm so who, so out of all the teams powering up, if they make the signings that they want to make between, oh, I'm only talking about top six. Who do you reckon gives City a run for their money next season? If everyone signs who they're supposed to sign, like who they're linked to. So like Liverpool with the two, obviously they've got McAllister and then these two um, Black Don, Turam and Co- is it, I think it's Coney. And then if we get the right back so Trent can play where he wants to play, that's Liverpool. Chelsea just need the right manager to click. Um, Arsenal with their signings, they get Rice, they get Lavia, they get, um, who's the other guy? Apparently Timber Garbage Timber and No there's another one Rice and I don't think Kaiseido's happening Yeah Who's the other guy? Look ha- ha- Havertz, ha- Havertz Havertz yeah Yeah But, but do you know what's funny? If Havertz does Leverkusen and Arsenal It's a madness But Havertz is not playing Mid is he? He's taking Jesus' place right? Nah he, he played like a number 10 Or like a But yeah. Odegaard Yeah oh. Or kind of in that in Around that Remember because it's It's a Another midfielder, so if Xhaka comes out, you put Havertz in there. Okay, cool. So it's like, because remember, like, when you look at Arsenal last season, if you locked off Odegaard, it was not, that was Arsenal's creativity midfield done, then you're hoping Saka does something. But if you've got Havertz and um, Odegaard. Odegaard in there, it's kind of a bit more creativity, a bit mm. more, do you know what I'm saying? And then, who's the other one? Chelsea. That's oh, you said Chelsea. Chelsea um, United. United. I, don't know, I don't know who United Tottenham is. Tottenham as well. I'm not going to lie. I think t- I think this season was an anomaly because of the World Cup and all that. I think next season is going to be an absolute madness because I feel like Tottenham Tottenham actually have a good team. They just need to sort out the defence and a few players. You know what I'm saying? If if to- if Tottenham click here, yeah, it's weird because remember, when, when you look at Arsenal, Arsenal clicked and look what happened. But the season before, we didn't click. Mm. We were like fifth. Like we were losing bare games. Sometimes it's one player, bro. I'm telling you. Liverpool, you, your strike force is nuts. No, Liverpool clicked towards the end of the season. It did, you did, but you didn't. As in, like, you could still be beat by a team that had a good midfield and, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, Our midfield was weak, though. That's what I'm saying. Whereas, but your attack is nuts. So I'm saying, if Liverpool add Two, Trent, Trent into there to be spraying balls and sort out your... Because remember, you changed your formation towards the end of last season as well. Yeah, Liverpool changed their formation. 
I think we did a Arsenal team. Change your formation because remember you, it, was it, three, four, it, it, three. it was four. It was four three three before, yeah, right? they were, they were, but you changed it to like four two three. So, I can't remember because that 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 young kid Bojan Sutton or he was playing DM. You change it. You can check it out. But you change it from until the end of the season and you started to like crud, bro, crud. So I'm saying like did a few teams. United in glimpses were decent. I don't know, man. I can't lie to you. I think... United need a... Str- I don't know. I don't know why... Now, nah, Russia can play there. No, bro. They need a striker, bro. Now, nah, Russia can play there. You say Russia can play there, but Russia can play where he's playing. No, nah, but they need to stop playing Rashford on the left. Play him through the middle, man. So who are they going to put on the left? We've got bare players at... Sancho's so... going. Sancho needs to show up. He's going. He's going. Tottenham are putting a bid. Sancho never got Tottenham. <laughs> why? I've ten hugs told Sancho, pack your bags, but Do you know how much Sancho gets a week? At United? Yeah. Yeah. How much? I think he's on 350. So you think Tottenham can pay that? So what? You can only move a team if I match your wage? Well, no, Sancho won't move. Oh, okay, cool. Fair enough. You think I'm getting 350 a week? You're telling me to go to Tottenham for 125 okay, or, cool, or, or like 80. I'm not going. Oh, so what's your thoughts on um, so on the, bench. the whole Saudi? Everyone going to Saudi. Like Ruben Neves is the one that they're, they're screaming about because he's 26. I see one, someone tweet today said something about He's getting 10 times his salary. Yo, Martial, like, what? These man can't see you. <laughs> Jordi, Jordi. Jordi. Yeah, Jordi said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was dying. I They're said, it's true. Well, remember, Cause... I, remember, remember I said it on, on a couple of episodes ago, like, I watched a documentary as to what Saudi's going to do. Yeah, but the only thing with Saudi is that their, their own, because I think they spoke to the FIFA president and he was saying, they were saying, are you worried about Saudi's that now? They're like, yeah, but they've taken... Messi, Benzema, Ronaldo. Like, yeah, but these are men at the end of their heyday. Not in a rude way, but these are men that have kind of passed their their best years. Most of the players that are big and playing and they're in still in our leagues, like Saudi's cool. I, I feel like the, no, but obviously it's not gonna it's not gonna be one season. I'm saying they're working towards it. Yeah, but I just feel like the accolades. The accolades in Europe still surpass Saudi. Yeah, but like, I don't think people, Saudi's going to try like, and... Like people still want to win the Ballon d'Or. People still want to win the Champions League. People still want to win the league in their countries. Saudi's not there. Where like, unless FIFA bring the Saudi league into the Champions League... The only thing I can think of is if they're ready to pay, which we know they're willing to pay one day, but I think they just need to build up their league a bit more so it's a bit more competitive and people want to play there because there's a lot of people there. Yeah, but that's like golf though. Look what happened. Do you remember that in it with golf? With, when, um, they, when they had their tournament and then a lot of the players were leaving, not a lot, but a few players were leaving and the PGA Tour were like, you're banned from the PGA. And then they merged. And they were like, what? Allow me, man. Then eventually that tournament bought shares in PGA and now they merged. Exactly. So I'm yeah, saying yeah but, FIFA, but the problem is because the there wasn't as much money in the PGA, that's why it worked. Whereas FIFA, there's still loads of money in this football I'm not team. saying that there's not money. What I'm saying is, if in five years, yeah, people, like, for example, the, the crop that's going now, they do their thing. Because did, did you see the video that um Agalo posted of them flying? Did you see the plane? No. Brother. What, dead plane? No, wavy, Qatar. Uh-huh. The plane was mad. Yeah. This is what they were flying in. So, I'm just saying, I'm not saying... I, I think what they're going to start doing is getting younger players. Yeah, no, but... That's they, what you need they, to do. No, like, but they, yeah. They've got their academy where they... They, they get them from five. Now, I'm saying players like, for example, if they were to get like a Balogun or Eddie and Ketty, yeah, like rem- that, them kind of players and bring them in because those kind of players was, can still play for England or still play for USA. Do you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but um, what I'm saying is, I feel it's, yeah. So the older crowd will go yeah. and the older crowd will influence the younger crowd that are already there. That's what I'm saying. So the, the fresh 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds. And then they will become more professional players. So they get seen by FIFA. Because remember, the, the people that are um, Qatar still in the Asian World Cup and they're still in the World Cup if they qualify. It's that they didn't qualify. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But if they have better players in the international team, then we'll start seeing them more. They won the um, Asian World Cup. That's why there was such a big noise around them hosting the World Cup and also being in it. But obviously, they couldn't um, win their group stage they couldn't win the group stage they're, they're not that good enough but I'm saying if they get to that stage it's, it's, it's a plan in, in my in my eyes Ronaldo and Messi would have been the start of it now they've got Kante they've got Ruben Neves they've got um, uh, what's my man's name Mendy Chelsea's keeper but, uh, um, they've got Kante now yeah Kante, million, yeah Kante yeah Kante the money that Benzema they got, they're throwing out stupid dog. Ben, Benzema's getting 400 M's 
No, he's there for three years, isn't it? Two years, three years. Yeah. He's, he's going to make a billion when he's out yeah, there. But I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> and even Messi, they offered him... Um, 1.6 1.6 1.6 billion Yeah, bread's dumb But he's an ambassador for In the Miami and all that No, no, no um, Oh I'm, yeah, the Qatar Yeah, yeah, yeah No, yeah. Saudi, Saudi Yeah, that's why yeah. Man City were pissed I mean, PSG were pissed Yeah Because he, he had an obligation But he was like, you knew that really Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see what's happening with Chelsea and um, Saudi I think someone in Saudi has got shares in Chelsea So They've loaned Chelsea though And I think Chelsea have maxed out F- FFP. So now they're trying to get the dough back by selling players to Saudi. I saw some tweet about it. Oh, so that's why Kante's gone there. And um, what's my man's name? Koulibaly. He's next. What? Has he gone there? He's next. They're, they're, uh, they're drafting his, his one. Yeah, but he can still play though in the leagues. Or it's a payday thing. Oh, let me find out. If you're, if you're, if you're 30... Ruben Neves is 26. Yeah, that's mad. If you're if you're tw- uh, if you're twenty six, you're Ruben Neves, and they say to you go to Qatar, but I'm gone, blood. <laughs> what is it because of the bread? I'll go for two years. Yeah, see, look. So this is a, a tweet. So Saudi Arabia invests billions into Clear Lake Capital, the majority owner of Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Then Chelsea spends six hundred and fifty million on transfers, putting them in the bread with FFP. Then Chelsea sell all their dead wood to Saudi Arabia at extortionate prices to avoid FFP. And this is fine. Basically, a guy's basically tweeting that how is this fine? Yeah. It's bad. It's bad for Krigo. I'm telling you, like all of this is gonna come out. The Chelsea, the thing is, Chelsea are gonna make loads of money though. One hundred percent. In um, in Cuckoo's confirmed, but he's coming. It's Chelsea. What do you mean? In Cuckoo, they signed him here last year, but he didn't. Oh, come. I thought you were talking about someone. Else. Oh, yeah, the weather just um, Red Bull, uh, Red Bull, like, Leipzig, yeah. 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 And Chelsea's team sick. They just need to. They just need to click. Like but, they, said. But, but they're gonna get a lot rid of a lot of players, though. Bear man. Even United. United. Co- Kovacic has gone to um, City. Yeah, because um, things. Men, thing, me, thing, thing might be leaving in it. Um, Gundogan. Gundogan. That's and a mental Cancelo. signing, you know. Yeah. Do you know how good he is? Like, people don't rate him. Like Chelsea don't rate. That's, not, that's the only problem with Chelsea. They're getting rid of a lot of players that are actually good players. Mount's going as well. Um, United. They're still talking about that. If Mount goes to United, that could be a problem. Because Bright- it, it, it gives them legs in the middle. Brighton have signed a couple of new players. So in my mind, I'm, I feel like some man, some man are going. You know Brighton's team, yeah? Mm. They sold a lot of man. And the man in that, remember when they got rid of their manager and brought in this new guy, he brought, um, he started playing well back. Um, that Buana Det Don in, in Sizzle, Matoma. That was the next guy. Remember before that, they weren't playing them. They had mm. them. They were there. And they still batted up the league. Like Brighton are a sick that team. That in Zindo, by the way, he's young, man. He's at 19. Them are young. Like, 18 Ferguson, or 19. Ferguson, yeah, yeah. The Bearman are young there. Mm. They got rid of... Um, they got the left back, Casado. I mean, not Casado. The left back went to Chelsea. Um, they, they're, they're, selling got, him, they're selling him at a loss. Cucurella. Yeah, Trossard, Trossard, Trossard went to went, Arsenal. Um, they, they, they started playing um, Gross and um, March. Yeah. They came back and allowed these men to go for... Like, above. Brighton's got a sick team. Brighton's another one to watch. They're, they're, the, they're, the, they're the best team in terms of ball possession in the league. Yeah, they're cold. Mm. Their manager's cold. But um, he's 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 the main. Is he the main guy for Arsenal style of play? Who? What's his name? Is it Dzabi, Brighton's manager? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. it was, it was Arsenal um, got their style of play from um, Pep. Oh, okay. But then they um. Arteta changed it in terms of remember Pep used to have the both fullbacks bombing on yeah but then Cancelo just became like this super mad fullback that used to cut in and become a midfielder and whatever so Arsenal done that with Zinchenko that's why I prefer playing Zinchenko to Tierney mm. and obviously Tierney would go, I mean Zinchenko would go into midfield add the, like a fourth midfielder in there but then you had Ben White overlapping so he, because remember, when you look at City, Carl Walker didn't really overlap. Carl Walker kind of tucked in and Cancelo would sometimes pop up right back, whatever. But Arsenal changed that to say we should have got a right back bombing on, but Chichenko comes into the midfield and adds to it. Ben White does an overlap, innit? it? So it's the same thing that City done with the other way around. Same thing City done. Nah, because... Carl um, Walker didn't tuck in like Zinchenko. No, Carl Walker didn't go bomb forward like... No, but I'm saying that on the left side, can, um. No, it's not, it's not the same because Ben White still Ben White overlapped Saka, 
um, Carl Walker did an overlap. Yeah, but you said that um, Cancelo did it on the left side. Yeah, Cancelo, Cancelo basically did what Chichenko does, but... Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant he overlapped. No, no, oh, no. Okay. Cancelo does what Chichenko does. Goes into midfield, whatever, whatever. But then Pep changed it again and said, you see, you, you, you got there. Cool. Four centre-backs. What are? And then he, he played four centre-backs, John Stone in midfield, and literally... She's like 4-2-4. Four, four. four, four no, four two four one. Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah, yeah. So technically speaking, when we're attacking, we have five players that are maybe, firing. Uh, maybe six, because John Stones used to go forward as well. So you so you got so you're you have five players attacking your goal at one point in time. But then when we defend, John Stone can slip in. So technically we've six got man. mad yeah, at midfield. We don't really need the midfield because the transition is when that four that attacking, they just drop in, they fill in the holes. It's mad. And that, Harlan that, just stays up and brother, when them. you man sent me that um, team sheet, team sheet when against Arsenal, I said, fuck, done, toast, it's finished. 4 1. I said that. Harland, but and then four. Arsenal didn't know what was going <laughs> on, blood. The boy, the, brother, um, Holden's coming forward. Um, Haaland's running through. Man's trying to hold up Haaland. The brain is running through. Arsenal didn't know what was going on, blood. <laughs> that was the day when Pep said, yes, I've done it. I've won the league. I've won the league because that formation changed. But uh, City went on a dumb... When you see... You know when you go on like LS local L- score? Live scores. And you see the green. Just green for time. Brother, <laughs> them at the 14 games or some shit was green, 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 green. I said, I, I knew it. I knew I was going to do trouble this year. I knew it. When they smoked um, Real Madrid, so it's done. They smoked Real Madrid like they were like small, like they were Galatasaray or something, blood. What did they give Real Madrid? 4-0. Uh, Brother. Yeah, it was mad. It was, they were on the ropes. <laughs> well, yeah, um, just to wrap up Asia. So that was my trip. Um, that's how Clement met Shanice. Um, beautiful story. Um, wish them well. Also, shout out um, Fred and Yasmin oh, and yeah. their union. Yeah, shout out them, man, still. Shout out the nice baby lot. Um... I saw pictures. Their thing was beautiful as well. I also watched the episode, the Moss Bros episode that they released talking about the wedding and that. It was actually sick. Shout them out as well. 